His name is Mouse, not Cheese. I bet he likes some Gouda cheese. He oh, actually yeah. likes Swiss cheese. <laughs> yeah, Swiss is my favorite, but Gouda's alright too. My bet. My bet. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, all the uh, Chrome crashed. I have to stop using Chrome. Hey, Mouse, uh, real quick, uh, check general. I found an article about uh, Deep Green uh, Metals merger from this morning. Will do. Appreciate it. Oh, weird. Oh, okay. Now, I was confused. I was like, what happened to the other stream? But it, I think Tame said that it, uh, yeah, it ended. We're good. It crashed. It crashed hard. I was so confused for a second. I was like, wait, did my screen mess up? Well, if y'all are here first, hit that like button, y'all. You were asking about people in North Carolina earlier. I'm not North Carolina, but I'm just north of the border of Virginia. North Carolina is beautiful. I actually, if it weren't for some of their very strict laws against my type, uh, I would live there because it is a beautiful place. What do you mean I've by your type? I've got a lot time? of family that lives in Asheville and in Charlotte. What do you mean by your type? Uh, I, their bathroom laws scare me as a transgender person. You don't have to delve deep into that, but like, yeah. All right, all right, I I got you now. Wilfred is asking, what are the charges to join the Discord? Uh, well, that's an, it's just a, a donation. You can either make a donation or um, if you send, if you contact Tame, which I believe he's posted his tag, uh, send him a message and show him either, you know, just prove to him that you're an actual human being and not a robot. And Tame is actually really good at that because for the most part, and I'll knock on wood, we haven't had any, like, major issues or people that are you know like rude so see see guys whoever was talking shit about daddy pal look at your overall list now all the market just turned green a few minutes ago never doubt daddy pal well i wish game stop would quit playing and go ahead and turn green and shoot <sighs> at least like I said, as soon as overall markets come back up, I would expect just because of how GME has been green through this whole time that we'll probably see about a 10% increase and then there'll just be another game from there. Man, Tesla has hurt my feelings more than any human has ever had. Fucking hurt them, y'all. Yeah, hey. Tame, Tame called it, though. I remember Tame said literally, like, I think two weeks ago, he's like, Tesla is going to dip watch and that's when it was at the $800 mark so like I even I have a buddy that like 
Dude, I'm so deep in Tesla. When it was at the eights, I swear to God, I wanted to sell. I was like, dude, I'm just gonna fucking sell. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell. This is too good. It's t the tech, the tech um, sector is way too fucking overbought. I should have fucking sold, man. Uh, like I actually had told my buddy because I said, hey, speculation, and I was like, but I think Tesla might drop. And and my buddy got in when Tesla was forty eight dollars a share. So he was like up a thousand percent. Good God! Yeah, I was like, "What?" I got in around um a hundred something pre-split. Yeah, that like I, he like bought it at like after research like years ago, and like just I he's like, "Yeah, I'm up a thousand percent," and I'm like, "What the?" Yeah, it's just so hard to let go when you're just like, you get greedy, you know, your portfolio's up, it's every single stock is in the green, you're like, yeah, man. Yeah, I told him, I was like, dude, sell like one, you got in, you've got enough to go around, like, just sell one to, like, recoup and, like, actually have a little money. They just bought another house, they're actually my landlord, uh, but they just bought another house, so I was like, fuck, just sell one of those shares and boom, you got, like, the, uh, the moving expenses, you know, that covers the movers, whatever. This is so bad. I think it's just short. -term. I think I fucked up, guys. So I've been kind of on like a boy band song kick, and I was just thinking about like NSYNC that <laughs> quit playing games with my stocks, my stocks. <laughs> That's like just what I'm feeling right now with GME. With everything. Dude, yeah. yeah, everything. I'm. I, uh,. Yeah, I, I, I kind of jumped in a little too quick. I'm, like, pretty much, I'm, like, out of money, and, like, I can't touch any of this shit. And I'm, like, uh, I don't know. I'm getting fucking really depressed lately. Like, the past week and a half. Yeah, I think a lot of us are feeling the same pain. So, you're not alone. If that makes you feel any better. Yeah, I'm basically taking the I'm uh, I'm getting out where I need to get out and staying where I need to stay. You know, I'm just kind of like, I think right now I was stuck for a while because I just was like, I don't really want to like move anything right now because nothing was like super interesting other like I believed in the stocks that I have. So I have felt just kind of like I can't really move anything around, but there were some losses that I was like, all right, I don't really you know, it was a, didn't cost that much. So I wasn't like completely butthurt about it, but I was just like, all right, I'm just going to take what I can out of this and see if I can put it into something else. Quick question. So you mean to tell me there's no other way to day, um, day trade unless you got 25 K. Yeah. Go ahead with a cash count, man. So what are you using? Um, don't shoot me. I got Robin Hood right now, but as this GameStop shit is over, I'm getting out of Robin Hood, and I'm going to go to Weeble and TD, uh, how you say, TD Ameritrade? Yeah, you can do it on Weeble. You can do it on TD Ameritrade. You just got to watch out when you're in a cash account. There's good faith violations. You guys got to make sure that you have enough liquidity in your account to be able to buy and sell throughout the day. So Robin, like, Rob, Robin Hood, do not trade. Do not day trade on Robin Hood. Robin Hood will still hit you with part-time day. Well, you can up to a certain amount, but they will still hit you with a part-time day trader, even if you're on a cash account, which is bullshit. Yeah, I, I, I done seen Robin Hood. Um, last week, um, I did like two trades, and it was like, yo, you on the verge of doing day trading and you're in violation or whatever, whatever, so. Yeah, so on Robinhood, if you wanted a day trade, you would have to, if you have margin or if you have Robinhood gold, uh, you would have to basically downgrade from that. And you'd also have to turn off uh, instant, what is it called? Hold on.
uh, it's instant settlement. But what that means is in order for you to effectively day trade, uh, you'd have to basically only use like a, a certain percentage of your per portfolio for each trade because now it instead of it being instant settlement, uh, it takes like two days for it to process. So those funds will no longer be available uh, after that trade. Now, I could be wrong. I've never done it, uh, so I don't know entirely what I'm talking about. I'm not sure. Maybe if somebody could elaborate on that. Is it is it the profits that aren't settled? Or is it the money that you actually use during that trade that's also unsettled? The profits are yours. The money you use during the trade is unsettled. There you go. So basically, the way you would want to do it is you would want to use, let's say you have $5,000 into the account. You'd want to use $1,000 uh, on a trade and then $1,000 on another trade and then on the next day, maybe use another thousand dollars. On the next day, use another thousand uh, dollars, and by then, those funds that you used prior will have cleared, and now you can use those funds. So, I appreciate that. Uh, twenty bucks, tw uh, twenty ninety nine plus tax comes out to five hundred. Oh, that's what I got to pay you for that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this ain't free, bro. No, nah, but uh yeah, I so I'm still uh I'm still just trying to day trade with my limit on Robinhood. Um I should probably just go ahead and uh just go and disable the instant settlement. But um I mean I plan on on going full time T D Ameritrade. I'm going to watch a few um, YouTubes on these other um, brokers just so I can learn how to use them. Because, like I said, um, I, I really want to get into that futures thing. And, and if I'm if I'm wrong, please, you know, correct me. But is it basically like, OK, you, you put two hundred dollars, you buy something for two hundred dollars, basically saying, hey, GME isn't going to hit. 200 by the end of the week i'm just using this for an example like does it work like that like you put 200 dollars down for a certain amount of shares and if it doesn't hit 200 you keep the shares or something sorry give me a minute buddy i'm doing something with this property say i i just heard half of what you said what did you ask about keeping shares okay um uh, I, I guess it's, I don't know if it's calls, puts, or if it's the future thing, but I, I kept hearing y'all for the last few days say like, buy puts and buy this and buy that. And y'all would say, put a date on it. Like, let's just say I take $200 and I buy, I guess, I don't know if it's a future call, put, whatever. And I say by Friday, it's not going to hit $200. Don't you keep the shares? Here, here, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you how. So basically, an option. An option is probably what you're talking about. So when you buy the option, it gives you the right to buy that stock. Usually, it's in like a hundred shares. So you can buy options, and then uh, for like a date. So if I buy an option for uh, March fifteenth, it gives me to the right to buy that stock on March fifteenth at the. Um, <laughs> At the price, so uh, GameStop option price might be lower or higher at this moment for that far out. And if you want to do a put option, so that gives you the right to sell the stock. And uh, the reason you would do a put option is if you think a stock price is going to drop down. Did you buy any options? No, I, I didn't buy none. Um, see me, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not going to say like I'm a diehard risk taker, but I'm kind of good with calculations and just like, Hey, like, I'll, I'll put it like this. I gamble a lot, like on the Vegas market with the NBA games, like the over unders, the, if they're going to win by 13 or whatever, like 
I don't know where it came from, but I'm just good at it. So I heard y'all saying something similar to that format with the stocks. So I was just like, that might be something that I would be good at because somebody, what is his name? Money mind, money something. But I think he brought a put or an out or a future. I don't know, but All right, y'all I'll, said I'll, he made like 30000 one Here, day. All right, here's what happened with the Ford. Uh, you were listening yesterday. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. All right, so uh, they bought puts. It's a put option that gave them the right to sell the stock. And uh, they thought the price was going to go up on Ford. That's why they put. Uh, that's why they bought the puts. And uh, when that price went up, they uh, sold the stock. So because the the price of the option went up a lot. But you got to be careful. Some of them have dates. Okay, so like um, I'm gonna just use this for an example. I take five hundred or a thousand dollars. I'm gonna say I take a thousand dollars. And I buy puts on GameStop saying that, hey, GameStop isn't going to go over 150 by the end of the week. Like, I do it Monday, and then at the end of the week, that's when I cash out. Or Wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a list of the uh, options right now and what they uh, traded at. And there's a price, there's a bid, and you got to pay a strike price. So let me, let me show you real quick. Thank you. I appreciate it. Are you, are you Carolina? Yeah, this is Carolina Red. Uh, do you see the general chat on Discord? Look there. You can see some of the last traded options calls. Do I go to the diamond or I go to the... What do I go to? Click on the diamond and scroll down to you see general. Okay, I'm in there. And click that last link that I put in there. <laughs> that I put. Yahoo. <laughs> yeah, and that will give you like a brief uh, gist of what people paid and sold for. Filter it by strike. Like the uh, highest strike in there is $800. <laughs> That is crazy. I still don't quite know options very well, uh, but there's a guy who seems to explain it pretty well. Uh, his name is In the Money. Uh, that'd probably be. Uh, yes, watch him if you guys want to learn how to trade options. Yeah, just you guys just basically. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. You basically just have to look at options like insurance. Do not trade options like you trade stocks, okay? Options are insurance, and they are ideally not to be exercised. You want to buy options and then resell said options when uh, the price of said options changes on you. That being said, that's why you want to look for stocks with high volatility, so you have high swings in the float up and down. So that way I buy in at one price and then midday it goes up or down or whatever direction I was planning it to go in. Then I resell it again by me exiting my position. I collect on that position and then that contract has absolutely nothing to do with me anymore. It's in between whoever I initially sold it to and then the uh, or whoever I sold it to and the original buyer at that point in time. Okay, um, just watch in the money and study and study. It's not you have a good foundation coming from uh, betting on sports games and this and that, but your mindset of how you uh, how you're trying to relate your sports betting to options, it works uh, on a foundational level with that like that but there is a vast vast amount of uh house on top of that said foundation that makes options work overall you can do the same thing you do in sports betting setting this setting that but now you're talking about actual play spreads iron corridor type of situation and that's a really really technical side to uh option trading so you want to know what you're doing before you do it
So just make sure you study up on options before you decide to go ahead and spend a massive amount and make sure you can uh, trade one contract successfully in whatever endeavor you're trying to do with options before you try to trade 50 or 100. Yeah, and time decay is a bitch. I'm not sure if that um, with sports betting, if there's anything like that. Yeah, no, that's why I said there's a foundation for his mindset for how he looks at sports betting. That same uh, mindset for sports betting can be applied to options, but you have to know the technicals on options to be able to be successful. It's not as easy as just uh, picking a number, picking a couple, you know, where it's going to go in this quarter, this quarter, this quarter type of situation. Yeah. You have something called gamma, delta, theta, and then you have... Uh, uh, vague, uh, Vega, and you also have Rho, which is two other Greeks that's not really used too, too much. Rho's really, it can be thrown out the door. Vega, somewhat, uh, somewhat important, but out of the lesser, out of all those, uh, uh, Delta, Gamma, and Theta is the most important. So if you can understand what Delta is, and you can understand uh, the time decay side of things, which is the Theta, then you'll be able to kind of start making plays. I honestly, Guy, I wouldn't start doing what you're talking Talking about the thirty, fifty thousand dollar type of shit within a day. Uh, that's high uh, That's high volatility stocks. That's a high, high uh, cap of uh, initial investment that you need to have. And then you honestly really do need to be knowing what you're doing because it's not a single strategy at that point. Uh, at this point in time, you're looking into uh, compounding it, going through uh, either straddled uh, uh, the corridors, the iron butterflies, whatever kind of strategy you're doing, you're going to be setting up a multiple play within that, that option coverage. Got you. Got you. See, that, so, that's why I'm getting confused at, um, because um, I thought it was you buy a, a, a stock or a contract, and then I guess you got to wait for somebody to buy it from you if you sell it or whatever. Like, is that what it is? That basically what it is? I mean, the simplistic side, say GME is at 100 and I know it's going to go to 150. I can take out a call, say, at, I'm going to pay somebody $120 for the stock, even though it's trading at $100 right now. But I know by the time that said option expires, it's going to be trading at 150 so I'll be giving him 120 per share, but I'll still be making $25 off every share without actually really ever owning said 100 shares. God. So again, this is just something, man, and with options, like I said, just start out day trading. If you can get your habit down on day trading while you're learning options. By the time you're done learning options, you're already going to have a slight nest egg from uh, just the regular standard day trading, but yes, you can you can ten times, twenty times, hundred times your money uh, off of trading options versus just trading stocks straight out. Appreciate it. That's all I needed to hear. Yes, just please, please find this is financial advice. Do your DD on options before you jump into options. The lack of information is always ignorance. So make sure you have the correct information before you start playing around with something because you can enter in, especially if you get on a margin, you can enter into something, not understand it, and then go ahead and at the end of the day, have a negative liquidity of $17,000 that you need to clear up in margin accounts when it comes to options. So just make sure you know what you're doing. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm I'm not planning on jumping into it anytime soon. I always do my research on everything. I give myself at least a month to get it down packed before I just go out there willy nilly with anything. So, like, if y'all know any um YouTube channels that I can watch that might help, or the what the money guy that you was talking about, if he has a channel or a Discord or something that I can join just to get research. I'll yeah, he's on YouTube. Go on YouTube and just type in in the money. And he'll pop right up. He'll, uh, you'll see him right there, dude. It, it's really just go through some of his videos and he'll give you the baseline explanation. Uh, another YouTuber, uh, he has a really good program. You got to pay like $5 for it, but it is so well worth it, dude. I'm not affiliated with him at all. Uh, uh, so, uh, Trading Fraternity on youtube also trading fraternity he has two channels stock market live and trading fraternity that his program and how he will make you understand uh options is is really really on point 
Yeah, I just I just subscribed to End the Money, and um, if you can put the link to the the five dollar um. Group. Yeah, hold on, I'll do it right now. Hello. What's up? Hey, I made it. All right, what I'm going to po post in general here, there's links to, he has, uh, he has a little uh, website and literally sure. just pay the $5. I'm telling you, I spent thousands of dollars learning how to option trade this $5 that I recently just paid just to see shits and giggles if he was actually BSing, trying to become a guru or not. His little $5 course is well worth the thousands of dollars I spent to figure out how to I options trade when it first started. So I would suggest uh, going through here. And then every day, uh, if you guys ain't on here or just want to kind of learn, he does teach throughout the day. He's live Monday through Friday. Appreciate that. Yeah, not a problem. And then get this book. It's called The Richest Man in Babylon. Get that book and read it. Have it at your Bible once a week or just or listen to the audio book or read it. You can read it in about three and a half hours. You said it's on YouTube, right? I, I remember you saying it yesterday. Uh, I don't, somebody else said The Richest Man in Babylon's on YouTube. I do all mine off of uh, Amazon audio book because uh, uh, that's the system I have in my household. So uh, either Amazon, I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. Uh, uh, George S. Carlson, I believe it is. It's Richest Man in Babylon. All right. I'm going to look into that. Um, you probably won't hear from me much. Like I said, I'm I'm driving right now. Like I'm hooking up to a trailer and everything. So, you know? but I'm I'm will be tuned in listening to y'all. Hey, don't worry about it, man. Just take what you can. Research your own experience. Absorb what is useful. Reject the bullshit that you hear is useless in in what we say, and add what is specifically your own. Thank you guys' thoughts on um CTRM. Somebody, uh, Captain, uh, Captain just put a link to the richest man in Babylon off of YouTube and uh, the general. Appreciate that. That book will definitely change your mindset. Hey, I might, um, after four o'clock, like I said, after stock hours, I'm going to tune into y'all a little bit, but I'm going to probably go ahead and start doing it or whenever I get off, just so I know my mind is clear and I'm going to just start listening to it every day. Yeah, it, it, it helps, man. Just wake up, throw that stone every single day. That's how you guys get all of this. You know, it's just doing the same thing over and over again, even when you don't want to. That's that creates a successful future. Is AMC a good buy right now? What do y'all think? What, uh, what, I said, is AMC a good buy right now? So, like, 780. Huh, this is what I'm, I, okay, I've gotten out of this after the initial squeeze on it. So, I will say what well, the only thing I can say on AMC is its competitors are trading in between 18 to $25, and they're one third the size of AMC. So, if you think their competitors with less locations, are worth more than what AMC is, then I would say get it out. But I mean, wait, wait, it, mouse, bro, mouse. Bro. You got to think their competitors have different number of shares as well. Yeah, they got more yeah true. But that's why I said if you average it out in between eighteen to twenty-five, you average them shares on down. I mean, okay, so on the lowest, what it should be twelve, fifteen dollars for AMC. Yeah, it should be twelve to sixteen, man. Dude, YOLO. Sell your house. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. But I think come summer, everything's opening up, dude. That's not, it's not going to stay at 781 or 8 or 9. I think fair price 12, if not 16. And my summer is definitely got to go up. Especially just everybody's tired of the quarantine. So people are just going to do anything to get out the house. So well, me and my friends are going to the movies, man. Yeah, and with all the places closed, there's going to be a lot less options. So the places that do survive are just going to be that 
much far ahead. Well, for the movies to really succeed, they also have to have big box office hits as well. You don't want to go to the movies to see an old movie. Bro, come on. Tom and Jerry? Come on. Top Gun 2. <laughs> I'm not taking my 11 kids to the movies. Forget that. They're holding back a lot of uh, releases. Yeah, they'll probably have some like post Corona movies come out on the uh, summertime. Hollywood really needs movies to open back up. That's where they make the most money. I, just I like, like the fact that uh, I'd like that uh, straight to uh, straight to DVR type of thing, man. I like that too. Sometimes I just want to watch a movie by myself, and there are times where there's a movie that you just got to get the friends together. You know, yeah, like yeah. Bucks and it's just like it's a different experience when you're just watching it at home versus the theater. Yeah, for sure. I like I said. I mean, their business model needs to change slightly. Uh, they're still viable, you know, for the near future. For the long, long term, they do need to do something and correlate some kinds of gaming experience in with them or some type of situation like that. Uh, but beyond that, I mean, I, it's, you know, I always say, you know, even like how people are saying, oh, the oil industry is out the door. Well, yeah, there's things that are changing within the oil industry, but even if we took all the cars off the road and made them electric, even if we took all the diesels off the road and made it electric, we still need oil to run other parts of our economy. So for the distant future, nothing's really going away. Yes, COVID is course correcting things and making businesses down size but i mean with any type of bubble things bubble. need to burst you know and oh, kind of course right. correct along come the way man. Well, come if, on man if the market's not turning if tesla's not green tomorrow i'm starting an only fans <laughs> how much how much money has tesla made you come on now just well, let's just let it be for a few days avoid the fact that failed leadership is back in power No leadership. Look at Tesla. Yeah. Like Tesla has like a huge dip, but the price was already up a lot. The entire market is going to have a dip. We went from sixteen thousand to thirty-one thousand in the markets because we had a good leader. Now we have a terrible leader. No, it has There's absolutely nothing to do with that. that. It has, it has no guy. It has nothing to do with that. that. It has. Well, that's that, why that. seventy-five million people called it. Huh. I'm not going to say still only good leader, but I will say he did a lot better for the economy. I mean, Biden has made some pretty shitty decisions. And okay, so 75 now. million terrible, people terrible, supposedly out of 300. Chop, 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 chop. Chippity, chippity, chop. <sighs> It has everything to do with the interest rates in the market. Half of the market believes that the interest rates are going to fly when Jerome Powell is printing out money and saying that it's not going to, which there will be a fluctuation when everything opens up when it comes to the market and inflation, but that will go back down to normal. That catalyst along we with the bonds is the reason we're in the red happen, today. Man. Stop trying to justify it. We all I'm not justifying that. anything. You're trying to make this chat a political. This has absolutely nothing to do about who's in power, no, whether it's Democrats policy. or Republicans policy, and everything to do policy. with making money, buddy. It says no. It doesn't matter if there's a Republican or Democrat in power. You can make money in the market regardless if you know what you're doing. So don't even bring this goddamn political bullshit. That, but you should be betting on failure. That's what I'm saying. Century, century failure in what though? I see a lot of industries growing during this time. Some, some are dropping, but a lot are growing. The market's just spooked right now. It's the interest rates. Okay. Exactly. Biden invest it solely in the tech sector, then yeah, you're gonna be suffering right now. Exactly. The tech sector is like just way too much money in that in that what? sector. Tech sector? No. Like all sectors? Buddy, you can't tell me all sectors. I've made thirty one I made damn near thirty thousand dollars today off the market. So you cannot goddamn well fucking sit there and tell me that oh the whole market is bloody red and no I didn't call puts on all my calls. Thank you. It's on a like I said, macro downtrend. Yeah, but all right, not all, not all. Yeah, this guy knows absolutely no nothing what he's talking about. He wants to talk a little simp shit because he thinks he knows he read an article ten minutes ago. He knows absolutely nothing about the economy or the stock market. I'll be back in here later, guys. I was just cheese in the chat. <laughs> 
as a general rule, we don't like talk over other people too. So about my only fans, let's start it off. Two dollars and ninety nine cents for the whole month. That's scary. Bro, where's my anybody here's gonna buy your bath water, bro? I need this stimulus, bro. I got two dollars on my account, bro. It's looking I'm bad. In. Oh no. Do we get a dividend if we subscribe? But yeah, after uh, the Federal Reserve was talking about changing the bond yield rate, we called that it was going to cause like a bloody week and it would take time for the markets to change and this is that change right here guys this is why it's so bloody you're gonna see the blood continue on to tomorrow as well you think this is a dip you can buy this dip but the dip may keep dipping this happened like two weeks ago right the exact thing the entire market was like bloody red uh this is worse this is worse than last week Like, you have stocks right, like fails. NVIDIA. NVIDIA was a stable stock. It went from 600 all the way down to $500. I feel like they're getting ready for a big move. Like, that's what I really think. Because, like, I, I mean, again, I'm, I'm, I, guess I'm just, I, guess, I guess I'm just hopeful that, like, a lot of these moves are to cover um, some big changes to, to happen. Thinking about selling some stuff. My embroidery machine, my electric bike, just to buy up some stocks on the dip right now. As long as you don't sell your body. As long as you don't sell GameStop, because that's like the most stable stock. No, I am holding GameStop and AMC. I'm holding those two until we fucking go to Pluto. I don't care. Well, you got to be careful. Um, You don't want to hold too long. Like when you get a good profit, that's when you shoot out. Because all the people in the history that have been holding and they don't get to sell, they minimize their profits. Like yesterday, we had a competition in the other Discord, and one guy held his Ford options too long, and he actually lost money, while the other guy made 30000 profit. If you take your profits, it's good. Like, if you make 80% profit... I would take it. I got in at 180. Game stops. No, it's kind of sad. A meme stock is the most stable stock right now. I mean, I'm not mad, but um, I'd be mad if I was a retail, not retail, but just a normal investor. Dude, oh, no. everybody, everybody, your grandparents are all going to lose a whole bunch of money, like right now. Yeah, just like they did last year. My like, grandparents like, are dead. The anniversary, right? No. Well, I'm just saying, like, it's important for a lot of people. Yeah, we, um, I would have told some of my family members to pull out their money from their investments uh, last week after the Treasury bond yield was changing. Because it does have a pattern of damaging the market and making stock prices just drop. Does. It very much does. I'm not talking about like 5% drops. I'm talking about like 40, 50% drops. Yeah, it's a big deal. It's a lot of it's just trying to funding or funding these, the, 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 the debt we have from like the stimulus stuff. Well, that's one of the costs. Like, um, when they print this money for the stimulus checks, and uh, if they don't physically have it, which um, they have to print money if you physically yeah, have bonds. if you physically have more American more money bad. now than you have twenty years ago, money was printed, and um, it does cause a lot of inflation. People people don't always invest it into the stock market as well. Listen, we get the stimulus, we all put it into GameStop, and we just pray, and, uh, yeah. Mm, not the best choice, but... Alright, so, uh, you gotta get, gotta be careful. Don't, don't invest as a group, because it's hard to 
hard to trust all the people on the internet. Yeah, some people will keep holding until, I don't know. We're all humans <laughs> investing, so humans take their profits and run. They don't, they're not going to be loyal to you. They're all strangers. Very true, it's very true. They all have their own motivations. I don't know if you've seen it, you probably did, though, was in the Wall Street bet. Um, some dude took out a second mortgage on his house or something. And I guess he was up 1 million percent. He had $5 million and he decided to hold it until it was around 300K, which I think he still had profits, made made profits, but he just kept signing the hold because he felt that that was better. And well, I don't think it worked out for him, but. So you, it pays off to do your own research and get in early. Um, doesn't pay to chase these uh, meme stops. I monitor them because a lot of us did get in early. And uh, some of us are willing to take the risk of buying and selling when the price is already this high. I mean, 5 million at 300K. I mean, if that was me and I ain't got 10 million, I would just be too spooked to even let it go up or down. I would just sell right there. I mean, I got into GameStop when it was about $40, so I'm pretty happy with my investment. Um, the uh, richest man of Babylon. That books have been recommended a lot this uh, week. Three hours, just read it. I don't remember the guy who talked about it on Discord earlier, but if you want to invest three hours of your time into the reading, that's the book I would read, just to get a better understanding of the markets right now. You said the richest man in Babylon. Yeah, the richest man in Babylon, and the, it's also on YouTube. You can listen to it if you prefer to do that way. Jimmy trying to make fun. a move. I think if AMC drops to seven fifty, I'm just gonna fuck it and put my um, like five hundred in it, and just well, we'll see what happens. GameStop had large volume in the morning, like over 18 million. That was uh, before a market opened. I see it ending probably around 125 to like 128 today. I, that's, that's my prediction. I don't see it hitting 130, but like 125, 128, I see that's where it's going. Well, the thing with GameStop, what I heard is the supposed squeeze is supposed to happen on March 19th. So if throughout March it can, you know, keep a steady pace above 100 a share, kind of like it's been doing now, especially since we're in a red market. And so people aren't putting as much money in as they are or they would usually. Then it kind of shows that, you know, has longevity and whatever people are saying about it is probably true. I don't know about AMC, but. I know this is a reach and I haven't been in the group long, but this is my whole speculation with this squeeze. I really deep down think, what is his name? Ro Roaring Kitty. I really think he activated this whole process here because uh, I was watching a guy on YouTube. If I find a link, I will send it to y'all in the group. But he was just saying uh, it was it was a couple weeks ago that when the market opened, GameStop was at like a certain amount before it hits, uh, what is it called? Not the IRS, but the SRI, or it was a, it's an abbreviation of something where basically they, okay, yeah, that. So they, they said, yeah, he got about all 50,000 shares right at the pre market. Right. Made it drop and then 
redid it or sold it back and brought back in just to bring it back up so it don't look suspicious. I, I just I just personally think it's uh it's Roaring Kitty. I mean, yeah. If you got money, you can manipulate the market all you want, man. I think he said from after all of his investments and just pumping it up and down, he made about like one point eight million, so worked out for him. Right. And I'm thinking I'm thinking he's the one that's gonna he's the one that's going to activate this this gamma squeeze or the infinity squeeze or whatever, but I think he's the one that's gonna activate it. I think it's that and there's a lot of options that um just end on March nineteenth. Especially for GameStop, so do you think he's the one that's doing the all them eight hundred dollar calls or puts or whatever that is? I don't know about that, but um, he definitely is he's the reason that Jamie kind of went back on this uptrend. I mean, he tweeted about it, you know, put his own money in, and, you know. Yeah. First, there was a few catalysts, too, as well, that popped off. Uh, real quick, y'all. Um... Should I, should I, uh, you know, cook up some, uh, some, uh, we are didn't anything terrible. I mean, everything he said was bad. Why? So, okay, over- so, 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 I don't somehow. think that's the only reason. The overnight repo rate went negative last night. Yeah, I know. No, no, no. That was, that's why. Because the overnight repo rate went negative, so everyone on Wall Street assumed he would say something to help the repo market, which he can do stuff in, like, SL. He can use SLRS to, like, help it out. But he just basically said, no, nah, we're going to let it be. Which means we as have soon to as Biden deal with inflation announces, uh, coming. Capital gains, dude, yeah, his market's going to tank. I don't know that he said that they're never going to do it. <laughs> what stimulus? No, in the short, he awesome. said short term, they're not going to do anything. When are they going to no, pass uh, what vote right capital now? gains tax? Like by uh, Stimmy. Oh, is that now? Stimmy, is that now? Oh, yeah, it's, it's right not now. happening until this weekend. Uh, uh, no, I thought they were uh, voting on it right now. But they're not sticking it out until until... Cali. Well, no, they were they, first. First, they have the their debate first, right? They have the debate on it, and then they've they, been debating for two probably having the debate on it. I don't necessarily know that they're voting on it. I don't see a vote live. Hey guys, I got the. Uh, you know what sometimes makes me yeah, feel actually, better? Do you want to know what they voted on today instead <laughs> of the stimmy? The fucking George Floyd voting. Form. What? Do you see yeah, one no Republican bullshit. accidentally passed, voted for it? it? Wait, could you repeat? What, what did they pass? I'm just curious. They decided to vote on the George Floyd Police Reform Act instead send of the link, fucking... Send a link. Send a link. Okay, yeah. Wait, Let's what's the uh, yeah. what's yeah. the Reform Act? What was it? Link. It's it's going to be bad for police departments. But the uh, one Republican three, said that he four. accidentally hit the wrong button and voted for it. So wait, three, it so passed. When the market crashes, we're going to so need what, police more than ever. Five guys. Five new lows. Private security. Three, five wait, lows. Uh, so what, what's in the police? What's in the Reform Act? What's in the Reform Act? By bullets, man. Yeah, can someone tell me about the Reform Act? By guns. Bro. They're reducing police spending and something else. I, f- I forgot all that. How in the world? And it passed today? Oh yeah, shit! The house. That's I, brilliant, the house man. Well, I definitely oh, don't so see them getting any more gun MVP laws again? passed now. It does not they just shot the themselves in the foot, so to speak. Well, it's not through yet. If it could still the, get deadlocked the in the Senate. The latest action on that bill was on J- July 20th of last oh, year. So, uh, spy puts. So Guys, you know what? It makes me feel better when I'm down. Sometimes this isn't financial advice. Four forty-five. Uh, uh drugs. Cake? Drugs can make you feel better. <laughs> and right cheesecake. Yeah, a little bit of so, weed. I'll, I'll a little bit of... Uh, wait, Hedge, was that you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out. Bro, go... go to weed. Wait, ask, quick, ask question, ask though, quick question, though. Quick question, though. Who was that who brought in, who brought in the, the idea so of cheesecake yesterday? Was that Bullish Coat? Uh, serious question, guys? Go eat some Uncrustables and cheesecake. No, it's oh, probably going to keep running down. Look at that! We're probably going to see 373 here. A very high odds that the market is going to keep going down after market. I think market. we'll see 367. There's like very low chances of a market uptick after hours. Most of my GME gains are gone. Police Reform Act. 
14 hours ago. Oh, where is the where is NBC the news? IG Go to NBC News. Gone now. Well, I mean, there's a chance the market goes up after up hours, but no, probably not. Bro. I, I doubt it. Sit in BC chat, BC chat. I, I can I can pretty much guarantee I wouldn't say I'm I wouldn't say guarantee I can assure you that dollars on the that day the, that that spy is not going to to, to go green today. Do you guys today. know what could cause a bull move very soon? Stimulus. If they do get stimulus? out that fourteen hundred, yeah, if they get that fourteen hundred out pretty quick. I think I can't remember, but this was like around you, the time you when can't they passed fix anything. The if there's not a right? tragedy, bro, they got to create the tragedy first. You know what I just if you can spend, yeah. if everyone gets fourteen hundred dollars to pump into stocks, which a lot of people will now. Oh. Listen, don't get me yeah, wrong, but you know the psychology. I passed the police. People get fourteen hundred dollars. You know where there's. They're, they're throwing in right that now. shit now on GameStop. I, I hate like to the last, it, but... I put all, into, all the last uh, two stimmies into the market, oh, yeah. so... Here it is. PlayStation 5. The House on Wednesday passed a police reform bill that would ban chokeholds and overhaul qualified immunity uh, protections that, for that, officers. That's fucked. I think if they see the way the market's going with a bull this move or a bear move, the they might try to rush out that 1400 I don't think it is either, but it's fucking ridiculous that they decide to vote on this instead yeah. of stimmy right well, now. Well, yeah. They're fucking dicks, dude. Congress doesn't care. A little while back, there was this know, lady charged up. Is someone, is someone, is someone, anyone watching my account? My account? And people's is maybe not a bad thing in my money brain. I'm watching it. No, I agree. It's, it's ne not necessarily a oh, bad no, thing. Oh, no, I'm watching the money the priorities. Priorities. Never mind. It's the priorities. Well, hey, well, I mean, if they're saying, you know, then you guys can try to short, like, companies that, like, that produce, like, police equipment and stuff, you know? If there's, like, a, if that bill's on about police reform. Is there... Are there like yeah, any good, good police I like equipment your pickers? Thinking. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, like you know, like literally, guys, you guys, have, well, when, when we see articles like that, you gotta think about how the market's gonna react. So, like, what would you short? Not just gun companies and like no, 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 Kevlar not gun and equipment and stuff. But, but you would, you would, you would buy, um, you would buy calls, or you know, you'd buy, you know, think that bullish companies would be like, like tech companies for police that like, like body cams. Because then they're going to more mandate. Had this, like, they're going to more, they're gonna more likely to mandate police officers. It's going to be like. Does a, anyone have a good ticker policy. for any police stuff? Yeah, there was one. Um, it was well. It's just a bill in the house, though. It's not the law. Yeah, I mean, no, no, it's not passed the Senate. Senate. Yeah. There's like a really good chance it gets deadlocked in the Senate. Won't. They're not going to get ten. The Senate is the graveyard for all bills. Or here, you know here, here's yeah. an idea. Like, the house like, passing the house really doesn't matter that much, to be honest. I think you guys are looking way too much. Three seventy-three fifty. They tried to ban Obamacare about a hundred times the last four years in the House. Mm -hmm. Three seventy. Yeah, the House really 40, is uh... so another breakdown here. All right, guys, my next support on Spy is is literally three seven three. Literally off my phone. Three seven. Just go three seven three. Three seven. We're drilling, boys. We're I'm drilling. Oh, yeah, drilling. It's a long way on the fucking vertical on this bitch. Dude, I told it's got to break three seventy. Did I, did it? Didn't I tell you guys biggest drop of our lives? You well, did say that. What? Oh, we're really not there yet. Listen, not doing yet. all the game right stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, what's the goal? If Spy goes, if goes, if drop, spy goes down to 200, bro. that's going to be the biggest out. drop of our lives. Just chill out, uh, what's bro. The, what's the kicker for the police stuff? Guys, most of you weren't even here in March. Like, chill. 16. This isn't that insane. Like, just relax. Hello? Kicker for the police report for here. Thank you. 37290, 37290. Uh, this is me, Calicarn, thousand for Literally, dude, we gotta, we gotta scroll up. Oh my god. Everybody knew a correction was coming, don't be surprised. That's just awful. Yeah. That's... You should have prepared for the correction. Probably not. Okay. Definitely not. Uh, government contract stocks. Like, Lockheed Martin, maybe. Yeah, like, maybe Raytheon. I think we would fight China before we fight Mexico. Wait, why in God's name why we would declare war on Mexico? Yeah, why the fuck would we fight Mexico? We would fight China before we Border crisis, maybe? There are third largest trade How <laughs> many Mexicans need to be sneaking yeah, over the border for a war? Oh, hey, actually, I don't think you guys realize I live in Arizona. It's a huge problem. Everyone's lying about it. The Border Patrol, you can ask them. There's interviews down here from like the smaller news that covers it. They are literally asking the government for help, and they're just ignoring them. It's really bad. Three, but, hey, you know what? 
Oh, hey, no. that's no. Hey, it's a down 370, bros. They're trying to import dirty. Trafficking, to, trafficking, to, trafficking to, numbers oh are down from the yeah, last four years. Yeah, that was literally years, never caused a war. Down. They're, down. they're, they're trying to import a freaking permanent. I'm just saying it's bad on the border, but it wouldn't cause a war. Like I'm saying, we'd fight. No, no, there's like three. I honestly don't know what would have to happen for a war with Mexico. Mexico, Mexico would get shot in dudes for Mexico would probably need to take Texas for their war. They're they're importing a permanent underclass. We're allies with or like maybe they need to take like Tijuana or something for a war. No. Yeah, I mean yeah, they're, they're, they're not importing, like California. They're, they're, they're we importing would never Mexico. There would be no reason for us to fight Mexico. No, there's literally no reason. They'd have to try and seize up. American why we, territory. Why are we fucking bringing this up? Okay, okay. Yeah. It's a diversion. There's no. The yeah. stock market's down. Uh, thank you, Easy. Time. Oh, and Digital Ally is uh, military. Mexico? Yeah, oh, what the fuck? Like, why would we fight Mexico? Bro, I've owned Digital Ally for like a month. I didn't know it was military. What's crypto doing today? Drop Storm it. Mexico. Hey, what's okay. your Surprisingly, opinion? crypto's down. Bitcoin is. Your voice Guys, is really quiet. you want to see the puts I've been looking at all day and never bought? <laughs> Bro, I'm in on Digital hey, Ally. I mean, it's not the hey. biggest uh, pullback I've ever seen. You know what I mean? My, I my puts, I just think, are what, what's your like, prediction? Like, what do you think will happen with the SPY? I dude. think that we'll be back at record numbers um, at some point this <laughs> year. Dude. Um, I sell. But right now, we're definitely pulling back a little bit. Yeah, so, we've got to uh, break 370. Then 11% now. Uh, whoever was talking about Doge before. I'm over here laid, laid back, like, thinking Spy's going down. Grabbed a bowl of cereal, pet my dog, and... Whenever you oh, you might be gullible, but at least you didn't try electromechanics. Hey, I mean, hey, I can't lie, you know? Hey, these Spy puts literally saved my ass today. I literally went from being down, like, like 3% to up 3% today. And there's some buying opportunities, guys. I don't know if they're today, but... Oh like shit, what's Spy doing? Oh shit, level. except for Wait, what's Spy doing? Oh fuck, how does Spy, spy doing? Think or swim where you can just click uh, on the stock and it brings up on the chart. Spy, you guys want to see Spy? <laughs> no, I just lost like hella profit on my puts, man. Put. Amazon below 3,000. It's a great time to invest in the Holy shit, I'm going to buy a bunch of digital ally. Hey, you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to buy more Spy puts right here on this little, on this little peak. Wow, I think Digital Ally is a great buy, guys. No, dude, I'm I'm looking at calls, man. You're looking at calls? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Not yet. I wouldn't say yet. Fuck yeah. I mean, you don't want to be like the guy from earlier who lost like his whole port in like ten well, minutes. Well, I would <laughs> if I bought calls. They would cost. Wait, that was bad. Two hundred dollars. Did someone who lost? Hey, he, their probably port calls. he probably bought calls. He probably bought spike calls. Yeah, I would calls. just buy like two to four hundred dollars worth of them, and that's it. And that's the max loss on it with the infinite max gain. Yo, I can't open it there. Yeah. Bro, who? How can you lose it all like that? Who the fuck did that? He probably bought spy calls. Let's be real. Gosh. Like way too much. Yeah, he probably went all in. I don't. I personally don't know. How he am fucking yellowed it like a retard. Yeah. No, you got to hear Money Brain's story when he uh when he gives it. It's it's excellent learnings for all of us. He was up to ninety seven thousand on Tuesday. Uh. From about Those a twenty k account, sixteen k man, that, that is insane. To go down is eight k. No, I couldn't get filled on that fucking. Yeah. What, bro? It's an amazing story. It really, truly is. F. And thank you, dude, for sharing it with us. You know, play by play this week, it's been fucking captivating. Hey guys, um, we might go sub three seventy two. Here we go. Yep. I believe it. Put your money in Jimmy. 372.50. That always remember, guys. If you hold below 50, then that's usually a sign that it can go down closer to the dollar. Actually, guys, I got a better idea than holding paper. Looks like it's going back up to 372.80. All right. I just bought you guys know what's a much better idea than holding cash? Holding diamonds? Physical silver. Smucker. Putting that yeah. cash into smuckers. eighty, and then... If it uh, I already put my 15 to Smuckers. Yeah, yeah, if you have any like cash, you should just buy Smuckers. Kind of okay. Fine. It's a hey, calm how, in how the bad storm. How did the dollar get impacted by this?
here. All right, so I bought I bought another spy play, guys. Let's do it. Maybe. Usually it's bullish for TX1. I'm down eight cents on Smuckers. All right, it's up. It's up. It's going back up. It's going back up. Yeah, bro. I mean, you'll never really go farther. The entire market just crapped and Smuckers yawned. Yeah, Smuckers went down. Uh, let's see, point three percent. Uh, and it's still up for the day. Yeah, and it's coming back up again. Are we talking about Smuckers or Spy? We're talking about no, Smuckers, right? Smuckers, Smuckers and Hedge. Like, like the, the Hedge positions spy. and Smuckers are the only two green things on my freaking chart. Or on my, look, look at my Smuckers. watch, let's <sighs> Hedge. Bro, it's a calm and in the Smuckers storm. Smuckers are the only green on TNX. Oh, yo, no. yo, if this yeah, if this bitch page doesn't call me oh. back, Smuckers, though. Yeah, I don't want to call her bitch. My spy was so pretty. Oh my god. If this woman page doesn't call me back, I'm smuckers. 372, here comes oh, 391. Oh, oh, yeah, here we go. 368 <laughs> next, and then it's Three, free fall. Yeah, 37150. If we three, see 37150, then we know we're looking at. All right, guys. 371. I'm taking. I'm gonna. I'm gonna select one Which of you guys randomly, and we're gonna go on steak dinner money tonight. In Smuckers and GMA. I'm gonna go have a steak dinner tonight. Yo. I'm fucking. I'm at five percent. What kind now. of steak you eat? Oh, no, I'm fucking. Put? I'm getting some wagyu or some Kobe. Man. Oh, nice. Yeah, my Vix calls are way up. What's your guys' favorite cut of meat? Guys, I'll, like Kobe, I'll take like a Kobe moment more. to. No, no, like cut, like you know, like rib eye, the hooves. Or like flank, you know. I like the. I like the. I like the fucking beauty right there. I like cowtail. Ribeyes, ribeyes rib are technically the best. But personally, I like strip steaks for the. Moment. I like ribeyes just because I like the right? fattiness. New, New York strip. Uh, to me, New York strips are yeah. New York strip and uh, wagos are like the easiest Rock to cook. Steak. Yeah. A good uh, I just love holding your smokers. So nice. I really like brisket. Yes. Yeah. I should have bought, more, so I mean, I bought some in the first place. I'm gonna buy back in when it dips. With the strip, with the strip, you sear the fat, for, render the fat first, and then sear the uh, outside on the meat. I would say brisket's probably the best like deal for good meat, you like per pound quality. Fuck! Please kill me! 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 My no, you got to very upset. I love Bro, stocks aren't your life. Kill me! Give me your money. Please kill me. I go to this uh, store here in Dallas. There's like twenty five dollars per pound of like strip steak. Some expensive steak. That is expensive as fuck. But it's like grass fed. Um, like it's the owner. It's a, it's directly from the owner. Like the guy who butchers it, it also owns his shop. So like, there's no middleman. That is good stuff. Yeah, we have deals yeah. like that around here too. There's a lot but of local. It is um, good. There's a lot of local butcheries near me, which is really nice. What's What's crazy with the local places is such quality. It ranges vastly, and if you have a good butcher or you have a good market they'll tell you like yeah this cow that we just butchered is the shit or like yeah, bro it's important to have a good mechanic and a good deli or butcher yeah those are two good things but we call you always want a good car mechanic. Yo, mon mortgage back security markets dumping had you seen this what yeah, else is good to have uh, it's good to have a good oh, like home good. repair person check the uh umbs 30 year if you guys don't guy. if you guys have a home and don't have like a good handyman you should find one and a good tree person. That's why it's called the Mexicans, right? That's why they're all coming across the border. Well, that's My why we're gonna have a war, boyfriend right? And takes care of it. Uh, yeah, good handyman. Good. Have you guys realize, like, literally importing like a freaking underclass, a permanent underclass? <laughs> Bro, well, I mean, we do need people to do those it. shitty jobs that Americans don't want to. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. They're importing. They're importing a permanent eight, underclass. I don't know. Eight, I don't know why. It, they're they're talking about freaking automation. All this stuff is gonna. But they yeah, they keep like importing people. Like, I mean, that's because automation is going to be here soon enough. It's just not here yet. The people are doing a good job importing themselves. Uh, I wouldn't even say it's not. Good so why, why are they? Cause all the a lot of their, a lot of those jobs are going to be gone. That they're some of it's for. here yet, but it's not. It's not oh a my full God, adoption. Spy, it's not dude. even close. Spies dumping so hard. Stop the count. I would say it's, it's like very count. early adoption or automation. Three dollars. Stop the count. Yeah. It's not like automation. Dude, I it's think I here. I might go to like guys. You know what? Very fucking support. If you go to if you go to Walmart. So if you go if you go to Walmart. Those commercials. If you go to Walmart, I don't know like the local. So the local Walmart's in here. Those opportunities, guys. Guys, every support that I've built on Spy, this fucking Spy's been shitting on the supports. Yeah. 
So PLTR, PLTR one day is going to be one of the best swing trades you've ever seen in your life. There's so many gaps to fill to the upside on that one. It's so funny. One's on sale too. It's down I, I, I am bullish on, on Dude, PLTR. I've on been sale. bullish since, yeah. since it was $18. <laughs> Literally, you know what's not up there? Smuckers isn't on sale. Wait, what were I you know. saying about PLTR? PLTR, no, no. no. So oh, the thing with PLTR smart. is that it just needs a, 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 a huge catalyst to, to, to move Coder, it. Coder, I like the little fucking... <laughs> yeah, I have I, leaps I, on it. Your stream. Yeah, yeah, right, everyone, we were supposed to do a PowerPoint presentation. I didn't do that. We were supposed to do a PowerPoint presentation of a DD on a stock. Uh, find a now. Find a better stock now. Uh, I think Ideagnomics, because they just acquired a company that produces electric motorcycles. Stock ticker IDEX. Bro, I'm down a solid amount on IDEX. I know. So um, I don't know about electric motorcycles, man. Have you ever ridden one? Bro, what, what was your guys' buy-in uh, price on IDEX? I'm not in anymore. Let me check. We'll try to ride one. What's your guys' like, opinion on D D D? Yeah, they're it's... too torquey, bro. I was at five thirty five on IDEX. Not a good buy in. I have swipe puts. Look at D D D for me. Oh, he said you U V X Y puts or calls. Yeah. I mean I'm I'm in a short position with you, but not the same one. I'm I'm long on D D D. I I think Yeah, I think yeah my yeah, my dude, my fucking spy calls or, or spy puts have been up six hundred percent. Over six, Bro, my worst investment now. is L A I X. Anyone know that? <sighs> and that's crazy because I fucking bought them for a hundred dollars, like a dollar for spy puts earlier. Am I the only retard that owns L A I X? Yes, I've never yeah. even heard of yeah. it. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. There's this Chinese software Fuck company that's doing my. really good. Fuck Are you guys Chinese? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you fucked up, bro. Next support yeah, I got. Yeah, but it was like an AI company, and it looked really promising. Are you guys selling yeah, big Chinese? Got... You fucked up. Nope. Oh, I'm more big Chinese. Buffett, Buffett, Buffett said said always bet on Buffett American companies. Company. Always bet on America. That's for no, me. I don't like Chinese companies. Yeah, that's a good. It's a good example. Yeah, I hate SOS right now. Is anyone okay. in here investing in grocery stores? Like Kroger? Or what? Invest in Walmart. So Walmart is going to have a, they're, they already announced that they're going to have a, opening their own banks. They're getting into the yeah, banking I heard industry. You guys. And they got the medicine now too. But is yeah, Walmart so invest in Walmart. When they get into these areas, are they going to be considered a monopoly here soon? I mean, at some point. So uh, here's the thing, uh, probably Walmart, not. Here's the thing, Walmart, so there's years. a stat that says, there's a stat that says, uh, I think every, uh, most Americans live within 10 minutes of a Walmart. Yeah. So once they open up that, their bank, in you know in their stores that means almost everybody's going to be accessible uh, to a walmart bank and not only that they can be offering like cash back anytime you shop at walmart so mm -hmm. it's going to be very interesting and they just hired uh, i think two of the top uh, execs from goldman sachs that started their own like uh, consumer bank and now they hired them so yo guys it's gonna i don't be very interesting. i don't know if you guys have are noticed really but largest check cash right now guys stock is on a rally that's one thing that's one thing that amazon can't compete with walmart yeah, guys they don't have any physical rally. locations no. one's point yeah they don't have any physical rallying? locations for now my stocks idiot. are rallying they're going back up yeah so even some of my pennies instead of 80 percent loss it's like 70. i've gone up a percent in the last like two minutes I think cool we're going to psych day. everyone out and bounce tomorrow. Maybe Monday. It's very possible. It's moving up. I think there's definitely going to be a psych out. Oh, it's never mind. It's moving back down. It was a momentary <laughs> uptick. Oh, I was going to ask. Yeah. And it's yeah. gone. And Is it's gone. Bull trap, boys? That was yeah. a good two yep, minutes there. of movement. Those are just shorts by closing out. Oh, boom. That was a really good two minutes of movement. So what happens to a company whenever they don't really have, when they oversaturate their market? What do you mean? Like, when like there's too many say, competitors? Let's, like, let's take dispensaries, for example. Sundial? Well, I believe they consolidate and they'll lose exit the market. The large ones and the ones that can afford to stay in business stay in business and corner the market, and the small mom and pops go out of business. That's yeah, how that's that. how that works. When there's too many people in a saturated market, it naturally unsaturates itself by moving out people that can't hold their positions in the market. Hey, speaking of uh, cannabis, or get acquired, Israel, Israel or they, um, that's why I said you get bought out by the larger companies, cannabis so you thing, out of business. and it's going to be like Israel, Canada, and the UK, and that's IMCC. Uh, well, what I was looking at is True Leave. Their stocks at forty something. Oh, I smoke on True Leave weed. 
Can we get back into Tilray? To get back in now? Mm-hmm. Well, come, you know, come save me at my 31. I'm I don't saying, know. man, tech, tech has been taking a shit. Finance has been taking oh, a shit, but hospitality is picking up right now. You should wait for a weed cycle, or like for weed later. Yeah. I mean, Liberty keeps getting bought out by different companies, different Canadian firms, so... Oh, shit, spy. Oh, yeah, 13 dropped big. I made a good money off that one. That was a good. That was a good chick. Oh, uh, anyone own Twenty Second Century Group? That was a good one. Oh, I hate that company. But Florida's looking at being legal next year for recreational sometime mid-year because of the current legislation that's going through the system. Oh, it went yeah, up. That's what it does. Oh, oh yeah, it's going back up. It dipped and then it started. Saying that's what it usually does. I mean, it'll rally, hit a certain point, and then start to come back up. That's what how big rally is in the, in the uh, bear market. It's oh, not going to forever just keep going down, you know. I mean, it could. Yeah, but we're at a five, five, what five year high? So we're it, we have plenty of ways to go. Yeah, we got. This wait. is a big rally right now. This is happening pretty quick. What do y'all expect tomorrow's going to be? Rolling. Done. Market is dumping. See, guys, you got to turn that frown upside down. We're just going up to uh, 378. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Psychology is a very underrated aspect of trading. I feel like one person should be watching. <laughs> yeah, that's the psychology of it. Other person should you should do the opposite of your gut. Bro, no, panic the is too of much of a, the it's a it's a reaction, not a, 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 a like a logical thing. I mean, it I can got, be based I just got in logic. That my whole family died in a car accident. It's absolutely based in logic, but it's still a reaction. So you're you saying know? you got paid? No, yes, sir. I'm, put, I'm putting it all in the spy puts. It's terrible. If you want to learn how was to was it a Tesla? Panic, fuckers had it coming. Wait, do they drive like they're from Ohio? Yo, don't Don't talk to Drive like they're from South Asia. Are you saying Ohio drivers are bad? I well, I'm in Florida and I hear they're like Asian women in West Canada. They're not that bad. Literally the second Ohio. If you go to uh, Naples, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. You'll see Cleveland all over. Holy Uh, shit! There's so many Clevelanders in Naples, Ohio, or Naples, Florida. Migrate there. You guys don't know what you're talking about, bro. Half of them live in Naples, Florida. Literally half of Clevelanders live in Naples, Florida now. Well, it's, it's fucking uh, wild. Do you know Dobizi? There's undercover money. Do you know Dobizi? Bro, like literally half my neighborhood you know is in Naples right now. They literally, if you go to it, there's a there's a city. You didn't answer my uh, question. You know who Dobizi is? Every, I don't. Every street is named uh, after a city in uh, Cleveland. You ain't from Cleveland unless you know who Dobizi is. Nobody. Bro, I don't know, know who Dobizi is. I'm sorry. I've lived here my whole life except for college. But is. you ain't from Cleveland. Yeah, I'm, I know who he is, but Dobizi is the for real, for real from Cleveland. Yeah, I've never heard of him. He ain't nothing. Bro, my bad is that I don't know small Cleveland rappers at the moment. Oh! What about Mushroom Head? Are they from Cleveland? Mushroom. Bro, I, so. I look at Dobizi. Oh, that's probably the wrong one. I've heard of him plenty, but it's not really my music. What what side of Cleveland are you on? What about the Drew Carey theme song? Are you east? Yeah. Oh, nice. Me too. East side of Cleveland. You guys see uh, the firm that sold 1.8 million Tesla shares? It's pretty funny. The guy that sold it. His name is uh, Ron Barron. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yep. All right, so he said, it was painful selling every single share, (laughs) adding that he personally has not sold any of his more than 1.1 million shares of electric car maker. He said he had to do it for risk mitigation to protect his clients because the portfolio had too many shares of EV. All his client's portfolio. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But he kept all of his shares. So he's still bearish on that. 
on a on Tesla. No, he's bullish, not bearish. Yeah, he's, he's bullish. Okay. Yeah, man. Can you imagine having to sell that many shares? <laughs> he thinks Tesla ten-year price is gonna be two thousand dollars. Dude, Tesla is. I mean, like, look, the long term, we're talking like five years, ten years from here, max, dude. That's gonna be probably the biggest company in the world, overtaking Apple. Oh yeah, seeing what Elon Musk is is doing, like the type of changes he's making. Uh, it's bound to be fucking massive. Yeah, they're talking like ten trillion dollar company, at least. Yeah, I'm trying to liquidate some of my stuff in my IRA so that I can buy on the dip with this Tesla. Because originally I was in at the eight hundred mark, but I got out because I figured there was going to be a dip. Um, I'm glad I did, but now I want to buy in at that discount. So Tesla is not just a EV company. It's like everything. It's going to be a huge in everything, space sector and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Robo taxis, bro. the, uh, full autonomous and then robo taxis. Um, they're going to do insurance. Um, batteries are going to be producing batteries. And who knows if, if Elon Musk someday just wants to freaking start making cell phones. I don't know. They they have the ability to just pivot like that. They're um, almost 100% vertically integrated. They make ev um, everything uh, for the cars. They make themselves. Tesla does have room to grow, as long as you uh, keep in mind it's not just a car company as well. They do have a lot of patents. Yeah, and let's not forget the solar panels too, which is soon to uh, should be taking off. Yeah, and they have their own battery too. So, you know, there's so many EV companies out there that that are outsourcing the batteries piece of it. So you got to think of that. Do y'all? Do you actually think? Now, me personally, I feel like CCIV or Lucid in the next four or five years. I'm not saying they're going to give Tesla as an overall market a run for their money. But as far as the car itself go, I kind of feel like they're going to be like, you know how, what is that, Ethereum to Bitcoin? I feel like Lucid is going to be like that to Tesla. Kind of like the silver to the gold kind of deal comparison. I think that was, that was being said about uh, crypto the other day. Can you repeat, can you repeat that? Uh, I didn't catch you. Uh, I was saying some some kind of like the uh, comparison that was being used with uh, crypto the other day, where like Bitcoin is the gold, but Ethereum is like the silver kind of deal. Whereas like Tesla would be the gold, and then uh, Lucid would be like the silver. Yeah, because um, I'm I'm big on cars. Like I I love cars. I've always been around them, and just me looking at it and hearing to talk about it and doing my research on it, I'm not saying it's going to be a better car than Tesla. The only way it would be a better car than Tesla, because if you notice, no electric company um, has a car that is under the price of what was it like 30,000, 40,000 or something like that. Like just coming off the market, if they can find a way to make like twenty thousand dollar cars, whoever comes up with the idea first and do it, they're, they're going to be the, the real winners because more people can afford the car then. Yeah, I mean, Tesla's doing really good. I think there was their Model Three starts at like thirty-two thousand right now, so they're getting really close to that under a thirty thousand price point. So they, I, I feel like they do it first. Yeah, that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, like you said, where, where you use the the gold and silver format. Like, I think Lucid is going to be right there behind them because I don't know if y'all ever seen a Lucid car before. They're pretty badass. I've seen it? I actually like the design of the car. I actually want them to succeed. Like, I really do. Me too. Like, and then what's crazy, <laughs> the guy that used to work with Elon that, that's in Lucid, he kind of sounds and looks like Elon, just a little bit older and gray hair. He's definitely not a Trevor Milton. If you followed uh, Nikola when Trevor Milton was CEO, dude, that dude was lying about a bunch of stuff. Oh uh, yeah, but you know, 
at the end of the day, you know, we all in here to try to make money. So anything I'm invested in or anything y'all invested in, I just wanted to succeed anyway because it's time for a, a, a change in the, in the universe. Like, it's just time for it. And I feel like it's coming, like, slowly but surely. I feel like March 19th is going to trickle a whole lot of changes in the market. I don't know if y'all seen this, but um, these people developed an app. Every time you go to like um, a restaurant or pretty much anywhere, like you went to Dunkin' Donuts and you got a coffee, you would automatically purchase one dollars of Dunkin' Donuts stock for you. So every time, and that's just like well, all kind of like retail things. I don't know. It was a pretty cool idea, and they just released it on the App Store. I can't. I don't know if I can find the video if y'all are interested in something like that. Hell yeah, that's smart as hell. I honestly... You said... Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, 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 you're good. Yeah, I I was just going to say, like, from talking to y'all, I I was just like, I want to get into Tesla. I already got Neo and I got CCIV. So I'm just like, I just got to buy into Tesla and I'm just covering all my bases. To be honest, like, I don't want to do it while they're streaming on YouTube, but like, I'm, I'm really, when I say I'm new to this, I'm like not even three weeks into stocks. I, I heard about Dogecoin. I thought it was interested. I downloaded Robinhood and invested in Doge. And then the more that I just start seeing other people talk about other things. So like, I'm fresh. I'm not all the way financially out there like some of y'all are. Like, when I hear y'all say, oh, I got a hundred something shares of this, that, and a third. And I'm just like, damn. So like, um, after, after YouTube and market hours, if y'all can point me in the directions of like some pretty cheap stocks that I can just kind of get started in to help me build up, you know, I would highly appreciate it. Paper trading, bro. Open a TD Ameritrade account and they have a paper trading account where you go in and you can practice and you can learn the program. That is uh, one of the highly recommended things that anybody will tell you. By the way, Carolina, I'm right there with you, bud. I've only been doing it about three weeks, too. So I'm right there with you. I'm learning just as much as you are, bud. Same here. I'm about a month in. I've got to ask, are you Patrick Mahomes? What's going on, Trey family? What's up, man? I mean, if you think they're going to go down more. I mean, they might, but my A and B position, like, there, there is no getting in at a better one because I'm at four ninety eight, like four dollars ninety eight cents. Oh, you should probably hold that. Yeah. There's no real reason to sell that. I've had it since twenty sixteen. There's absolutely no reason for you to sell that. I know. Wait, so what? My A and B stock. Oh my god, dude! Hold on, A and B, bro. I mean. I know. I know. I know. But that would give they're me still a, a cheap. I mean, they're, they're a CBD. that I could put into something else on this massive dip. Do you have any other things you can liquidate, they're or is simply, that they're it? Simply, they're not, a CBD stock for not at a, not at a, it, um, I mean, everything else is at a loss right now. I mean, you could take some losses if you. I mean, you could just rebuy. Yeah, that's true. You could take some losses, rebuy, get some net liquidity, buy some other things that you want. Are you? Why don't you want to dump AMD? Are you? Because you've had it for so long. Oh, he has such a good price on it. Yeah, Andy is so good. So what are, uh, the, what are the plays today, bro? I'm really I'm liking cry. NNDM right now, sleep. dude. I, I, I picked up 400 shares of that. How? You don't think it'll get a discount if there's a bear market, though? NNDM has already had a massive discount. Yeah, yeah, but you don't think it's going to keep going down? If it does, like, nah, dude, if it does, I talked to my dad about this play, th this company, and we, if it hits a $5 price, we're probably buying, like, one to 2,000 shares. Because it's down 46% so cool. the so past cool. month. Exactly. So I, I think you could just wait and, and buy more. Well, no, the thing is, it's down, but, dude, this, this company has got some fucking good product. No, but I think it's got legs on it. I just think you can wait to buy more, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what we're doing. Um, we, we've been buying on the way down. Uh, I, 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 the, I think the best way to do this is just limit order on the way down. and just keep I, I believe in it, too. Tiers. 
I bought in at uh, sixteen fifty, so that's not good. Oh wow! <laughs> no, we got in. We got in at seven ninety, seven seventy one, seven fifty one, and seven twenty five so far. Yeah, I bought it at its peak. Me and my dad bought Tesla when it hit that high. Um, I only bought two shares, so it's not like I'm down a lot. But oh no, we we, we, were, we got four hundred so far. Yeah, yeah, I'm down like twenty bucks on it. I don't really give a shit, but I do think it's a good stock. I think this has got A and B kind of potential gro for growth. I absolutely do think though you can wait uh, and like buy it cheaper still. I think so too. I'm just trying to be safe. What ticker are you guys talking it. about? Uh, and then, yeah, nano dimensions. Nano dimensions. Thank you. Yeah, I think like this is the one that does the 3D printing of PCBs. I think you can definitely at least what's it called? What's it called? Give it like a week or two. Nano dimension. Yo, is spy rebounding right now? I really don't think it's gonna shoot up really high, so like you'll miss out on value there. What's the what's spy, the uh um... spy to be done? Spy to be done is gonna return. Give it two days. But Tuesday it should be like three eighty at least. This is a positive. I'm gonna go smoke. I'll be RB. There's a um, there's a there's a what's it called? Like uh, what's the? Uh, are you familiar with like circuits? Like tech tech technical uh, pr printing. Yeah, printing circuits. There's like there's like um, f there's a website. I forget what it's called. It's like a website where you go to to print like uh, kind of print a schematic. Like when when you have a schematic, you go into the website and you can actually like get a PCB printed or something like that. Like the uh, I'm not sure what the name is called though. Yeah, oh, they I had actually those. do have a good heads up about kind of a website like that, but for you know my stuff. Uh, if you guys are, uh, I don't want to cut you off with your website. No, go ahead. If you guys, since I'm really into materials, I got like a really good website to learn about projects. If you guys are interested. I'll post the link in the VC chat, but it's called mining-technologies.com. It tells you about ongoing mining projects, their progress, and news basically in materials. It's kind of like the market watch for material oh, wow. stocks. Well, looks like we're sorry, all the way back for any, oh, sorry for any feedback because I'm in the mall, but I'm like tuned in. So kind of on subject, but kind of off mining. Like when you're speaking about crypto, what is that exactly? Oh, no, no. Like, I mean you... mining is in like... Metals. Like real, I know, I know what you mean, like real mine. That's why I said kind of off subject, but on subject. When you guys, because I've heard you guys say mining crypto. What, what is that exactly? Because I know validating contracts. Go, go search Google. Got you. So like actually like getting you, you can you mine the crypto with your computers to get it. And that's what your I profile. Need to, I need your I'm profile picture looks this, nice. This month. You should Google it. Um, because I'm I've been trading on fucking phones and I'm over it because you can't really learn much on. Uh, Robinhood on your phone is pretty much a joke. I'm I'm buying a laptop this month. It's not gonna be like you, a super you, nice setup. Most of the time for mining plane. to be worth it nowadays, you need kind of like a relatively strong computer. I'd start I'd start learning first before you think trade. the the average. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm gonna the mining um, for the uh for, like the personal personal user is probably <laughs> that, that the, those days were probably like in 2015. 2014. There are there's like a bunch of cryptos. There's like hundreds. Is that you so and your profile picture, rookie? Three seventy. There's definitely some crypto you can find that's yeah, still yeah, profitable to chain to like mine on a laptop even. For yeah, yeah, not just Bitcoin. Yeah, there's like a lot more. Yeah, there's, there's like Bitcoin. legitimately hundreds of cryptos. You if and, you want to mine, then, if you want to mine cryptos, you might want to invest in like an actual like computer. Like, oh no no! Like I, I was asking that because I because last night you guys were talking about it. And I was in and out, in and out. Like, That's like the thirty eighty right? Yeah, I'm using thirty eighty. Good luck finding one of those. To just uh, get like I'm. Yeah, I heard uh, AMD's trying to push out to some new swim. GPUs That's to all. match the thirty. So wait, are you interested in like yeah. mining on your computer though? Yeah, you don't want to do that on a laptop. No, no, I'm not going to do mining. I'm okay. Just, like I said, oh, okay. I, I heard you guys say mining. Like, I'm sorry, because I'm popping in and out. I'm in the mall, and then I'm in the car. But I, like, keep listening to you guys. And that's now, a really popular trend is not just, like, mining, but there's, like, mining stocks now, too. Like, mining, right. crypto mining companies. Imagine. What about, what about, what about NTF? Like, that's been, like, crypto mining, crypto mining companies are, like, one of the hottest things over the past month. Yeah. That SOS company, they just released the video of like all their big mining facilities to kind of shit on those hedge funds. It's a bit Holy fake. No, bro, it was literally that one uh, right research now. report. Look at GME. Look at GME. Yeah, no, but they just put out videos like of their big mining facilities. Whoa, Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Everyone, Holy fuck. Everyone's Oh, shit. Pop on Have you seen? 
Yo, DM me, 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 DM Oh, it just sounded like 20? 6%. Yeah, like, yeah. everything is kind of turning upward right now. Remember though, the, GME the, min the minimum down, today, the minimum was 116. I'm gonna need Spider-Man. The oh. minimum was 116 today, now it's at 131. You, you're right, but it has a, it has an ATR Holy of $36. That means that yeah, in I'm one day, contract, you can expect it to move seen. in that range right now. How is it not, um, first? So unless it breaks out of that range, it's not really like a, a it, super strong break. Yeah, don't FOMO. FOMO and Jamie, guys. Do you use ADT? Look, like, man, look, I already, already FOMO on Buzz. Is it open? How'd that work out? Uh, I actually bought the dip. Your hey, mic's so I'm hoping for the best. Who, yeah, your mic's really loud. Oh, I don't... You don't right. like... Hey, bro, is it good? How about you go... Is it good? ...back of our life. Yeah, we'll see. I love when somebody starts to talk shit, but then their mic cuts out because right their fucking computer sucks. I know. <laughs> it is really funny whenever someone cuts out talking shit. Hey, for real though, what do you guys okay, think about man. that? Oh, it did come way down. I'm about to get in for the hell of it. I hate you guys, Fortnite, but it's still I hate finding its price. Yeah. Should I drop 5k on NNDM? <laughs> it's a bad day to come out. I know? did. Oh, you should wait before <laughs> dropping 5k on NNDM. I started layering in on NNDM 750. I think and 5k then is a good price on NNDM. But you can wait up. Am like I still loud? GME to 200. Is it still loud on my end? Oh, uh, no, it's a no, lot better. Fine. All right, better. Um, what I'm trying to say, yeah. Yeah, so far, Buzz is doing decently. I already bought the dip. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yo, Kitty, you're more uh, aware about NNDM. You think it can hit, like, 650 in this week? Tomorrow? I've been talking to Totalis about this. Totalis thinks it can go as low as like three dollars. I think that's completely unrealistic. I think it can I hit maybe five. five to six. Is yeah, I think if there's like, like a, a very the, bare the run next week, it can hit five. It can go to the moon. I don't know. It can really go to the moon, it but it can pro five. it'll probably dip before it rises more. Because the thing is, um, me go burr. even even with this market crash, they have a billion dollars in cash. And they're ready to go acquire a bunch of new technology and, oh. and continue developing yeah, the product. Jimmy's, Jimmy's right. It's not, it's not a question about the company. It's a question about the stock it's stuff price. Jimmy's so hit 136. Jimmy's 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 Bro, let's, let's let GME carry the market up today, guys. Let's do it. Yeah. Alright, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna sell all my holdings and go all in on GME. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna follow on GME, guys. I'll be back. Squeeze his spoon. I'm gonna get a second mortgage on my house. Wait, I'm dropping 10k on GME, boy. Yo, you guys know which banks? Did you guys know which banks have a very attractive? Does anybody have a hot level for it? No, I don't think I have any. Can someone hit me with a bank with affordable or very high interest? Can someone make money? Can someone help me make money? One forty-four, one forty-five. Board the ship. Board the ship. Everyone, board the ship. All banks. It's all yeah, but I want a really good double mortgage rate. You know, I want the second mortgage to buy the most GME I can. Oh, I got you. I literally, you guys got me. There's some services out there that'll find you the best one. Can I get like a like two hundred thousand percent interest or something? No, you could buy GME for two hundred. I'm sure you could. Like I want like an extra twenty dollars for another twenty percent interest just to buy more GME. You know what I mean? Let's fucking go, baby. Go to the the nearest check cashing. Dude, oh, that's a good so idea. It's the power hour. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I should go get a bail bond. GME go get a bail bond. <laughs> hey, I should go, go get a bail bond. Should I think GME I has like a huge hey, 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 AMC is hearing. AMC is hearing. Power hour 40. Oh, God. AMC is 830. 
Wait, 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 wait. What is pumping them? Let's figure out what. AMC is pumping. AMC is pumping. AMC is pumping. Jimmy, it it survived the dump. Like to pump it up. Let's pump it up. It's all about the pump. My God. Fuck the dump. It's all about the pump. I looked down to text my friend, and AMC jumped from eight dollars to eight fifty. Bro, look down again. 145, right? baby! Shit. Oh the reason, <laughs> the reason it's going up is because it's for five. Holy fucking shit. That's all I'm gonna say. This is a beacon of hope. 150, 150, let's go. Oh, that's fucking... beautiful. There, guys, what do you think? It's a permanent jump, or... Uh, uh, it's gonna go down. No idea, bro. 200. I just hope yeah, AMC hits G and me. Are you kidding me? on the rocket. <laughs> Everybody's on my stream. It's obviously going to the moon. It could be Starship 10. We don't Can't know. Can't go tits up. We don't know. Guys, look tits. at my stream. It's hitting 185, obviously. Look at that. It's insane. If, I need if it help. 200, you help get me. it, okay? It's, I need, it's gonna go to I need the pump. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it actually might. I need some money. Oh, if it's under yeah, 200. I need yeah. the pump. Guys, help me now, please. Send me money in my PayPal, please. Oh, hey. <laughs> guys, buy my only fans. I need money. Nigerian Prince Mabuku. Yo, guys, guys, guys buy, buy my only fans, okay? I need money. Please send me Mabuku money and I will buy you more money. You got, you got feet. <laughs> buy you. <laughs> I, got, I got everything. Feet pics. Guys, uh, look at my picks, chart. Look at that. Yellow pics. If you guys see my stream, it's going obviously to 193 my, today. My last porn. Look at that chart. It's Pull obviously back, hitting 200. Bit. GameStop is pretty bullish. Huh? Doing the same pullback too. Sure. Sure. Is bullish as this is wild. Oh, look at my look at my stream. It, it's obviously going to hit that, that two hundred point. Ah, it's pulling Which back. Which chart? I'm retarded. Identical. Like gamma. -ish. Don't give up. Keep fueling it. Bye guys, bye bye. Guys, don't. That's not actually going to hit that price. Guys, 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 it's got to breathe. Not sell. Yeah. Do not sell. Do not FOMO. Obviously, don't sell. Do not... Only hold. Obviously, don't FOMO, but don't sell. Yeah, it's got to breathe. Diamond, so. should I buy in right now? Hold buy, hold buy, hold buy. I would. All right, I'm gonna. I would buy, buy it now. This is a discount. Hey, we're in a discount session yeah, right yeah, now. Boys. I guess I should have bought the hundred shares earlier, right? When I about it. <laughs> I love how like was everything it, was it, was it, was it, on GME to like unifying around it. The moment. Alright, I'm gonna buy 20 <laughs> shares. I got the. Hey, who was the person, was the person that said that freaking trading, uh, trading the emotional side of trading is so underrated? Yeah, psychology is very underrated. Yeah. I mean, we could. That's a primary display right here, man. Stop talking to him. Oh yeah, because we're a bunch of apes. Yeah. you want to buy? GME literally unified. If you want to talk about psychology, you better talk. Because right now, that is going to the moon. Hey, yo, this is nah, called the psychology yeah. of excitement. No, this is no, like no, but again, this is why, like, like, no, I said, I'm get, again, like, you know I'm what's I'm funny actually getting a little bit of PTSD from me... last year's crash. <laughs> what's funny was that y'all were giving me hell of shit when I was trying to talk. <laughs> to you. When I was trying to talk about psychology the other day, and now y'all. are Oh yeah, you know what? Let's actually learn about psychology. Well, here's yeah, the thing. All, you can't group like, this whole chat as I one mean, person. I, look, I, I, learned, I really learned the psychology of the market just, last year in a hard way, way, so I'm, 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 I'm experienced right. at this point. What the fuck up? Now we know. No, no, no. Your mic's very loud, that one guy that just talked. I could honestly care less about what other people say. I just I just laughed because everybody was losing money yesterday. Guys, I have a vagina, so listen to me right now. I got something to say. So basically, I can talk now because I have a vagina. What's up? Yeah, you're wow, so cool, bro. Wow. That, that, that was wow. funny. Does that, that mean you should be able to Pretty. talk? Oh, guys, <laughs> it's going down. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's no, I need to keep going up. It's, 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 it's a bull flag. Ah, uh, fuck. My $200... Sorry, my 20 shares is already not paying off. Yo, my spy my spy puts just printed a little bit more. Oh, it's looking green. It's looking green. I need that sh hey, I also got an AMC eight dollar call. I got so a green candle, guys. Going. I got an AMC call, and it's down fifteen percent. I'm kind of sad. Come on, I can't run out of oh, oh, never mind. It's going red again. I was too happy. It's red. All right, guys. Uh, great guys. Great job, guys. Yeah, We're fresh. All right, everyone, kill themselves. Market, it's up twelve. <laughs> <That's laughs> <crazy. laughs> oh wait, no. It's a it's a green candle now. Hold off on the suicide. Yes, who just bought the oh, oh, I just I just prepared the sum stack, damn it. It's alright, it's gonna turn red so you can come in. Do I get the rope or soon. not? Oh my god, it's a big red candle. Okay. Get the rope. Get the rope. 
get the bucket right at the top. No, Guess he just pulled no. Oh god, it's dipping. Oh, it's dipping. It was fun while it lasted. It's called the correct. Yeah. No, wait, yes. wait for it to find a support. Wait for it to find a support. Oh my god, it's, it's hitting. Going. Drink a glass of ropium. All right, guys. Oh my I god, it's drink over. Drink a bottle of ropium. Oh fuck, it's done. <laughs> Well, as long as it doesn't go what down. Was that? Hey, if you guys sold it, one forty-seven point eight seven. Good for you. Oh no, no, it's right. It's green. It's green. It's fucking green. It's got another green candle forming. What, bro? You are you going to the moon? Thank you. Are you going to the fucking moon? Christ. Oh, guys, it broke my support. It's moving up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was lying about it not hitting 200. Anxiety roller coaster. Get into spy pits, otherwise you miss out. I was joking it is hitting 200. It's so hard right now. Get into spy pits, otherwise you're going to miss out. Oh, never mind, never mind. I, I was too optimistic again. Stop lying. Get spy pits, otherwise you're missing out. I've seen some good candles. Are you going to go 138? 70 on the bid. It's all right, just all the down down support. That's all we did. Ass. Spread is getting bigger. 139. 139. This is all it's, it's finding support, but like seriously, just take it back a notch. Like You don't have to say every play-by-play. -play. Yeah, it, it yeah I'm kind of kidding. Fuck Robin Hood. They banned me. I, I know you're kidding. Just chill out. I'm sorry. Can you narrate every single buy and sell? Yeah, if you knew he was kidding, no, I wouldn't be I, so. I can calm down. <laughs> No, no, right, not the was getting an hour ago too. no, it was pretty funny. Don't let that guy get you down. I don't. I've got good self confidence. You know, got a, uh... He knows I love him. It's just. You know, got a I floor. love how a single bump in GME just push. It just, it just go from one push. You know, got it's a like uh, for a Bitcoin. It's very let's go back stuck and right now. The last time I did this. It is not moving at all. Didn't this exact same thing happen like last, like last Thursday? I'm gonna buy some more, but I just don't. Care. Oh my God! This yeah, this exact same thing happened last. But no, it was Professor, Thursday at I've the end of market. It went up to 200. Buying some on that 21. It was like Thursday average. at like 3:40, so it was a lot. This is the move we're talking about. Jamie this was a lot just, earlier just than last does time. Something crazy, like at least once a week, if not once a month. Ago. It's all right, actually good news. Crazy. <laughs> And we're still inside that range. Uh, he basically said they're not really doing anything different. His news was that there's no news. Jimmy's crashing. The news was. Wait, That's the news was it? You said Amazon acquired GME? What? Uh, he said that it's going to take a while for real employment to hit back to what it was. Uh, you know, like peak employment numbers. They're not changing inflation or anything until then. So Amazon didn't buy GameStop? No. Oh. We just got to call Biden and have him cancel inflation, guys. No problem. All right, cancel the rocket. Can right. I call the manager of inflation? I'd like to file a complaint. Rocket launch has been postponed till next week. Wait, didn't that happen yesterday? I, I like to get a refund for all my losses. I mean, it was like a false start. Can and I get a refund for even my gains? Was start, but, uh, I need to speak to the manager of the stock Bro, can I get a refund funny. for my gains? Imagine thinking that was funny. No, I would I would a refund because I don't. I, I lost. <laughs> yeah. Actually, though, you can do that. You got your 3K reported earning tax return. Who? Cool. True. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Found the trolls. I wish it was more Let's than 3K. A bit. I wish it was like, like 100. I, imagine if it was 100K. <laughs> fuck. I, well, then I'd everyone sick. could fuck up really oh, there's badly. There's GME news. <laughs> if GME falls, the market falls. Does anyone know what the news on GME? Or was it just... Hello, sellers or hello Ryan buyers. Cohen, Ryan Cohen disclosed something. China did it. We the people. Fucking landslide. What's the volume currently at? Uh, Yo, I don't want it to excite anyone, but the, uh, you know, the the fifty day moving average exponential is above the two hundred day right now. So, don't want to excite anyone.
You guys want to hear something so great? Golden Cross. So, buy more GMA. I don't know when that Chinese uh, no, guy said not to sell at the top. top. We do have so, a Golden uh, Cross, so sorry. don't know don't know if anyone should get too excited about it. Let me just say it like, for, like real quick. You guys all use indicators, right? If no, I psychology, don't, if Marty's psychology wasn't a thing, and you were using indicators, indicators wouldn't fucking work. They only work because other people believe they work, and they use them. That's actually they act not on the true, same though. information. That's actually false. Watch. No, it's Fake true. No. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, indicators yeah, are based yeah, on statistical Musk. numbers, not psychology. Fake news. Well, yes, they are based on real-time data. However, if people didn't I'm, fucking I'm use selling Rex Silicon. I don't give a shit at this point. Sell it if you want. <laughs> it's probably going to rally tomorrow. Oh, I don't want to worry. I don't want to excite everyone, but we just flipped over the parabolic SAR. No, it's it's gonna go up. We flipped over the parabolic SAR just now. That was in the White House. We had the best market. This man sounds like a diet Elon Musk. Was into it. I think some yeah. people in our chat did. Yeah, there's um, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I would love that to be honest with you. You guys saw GameStop go over that one forty dollars. One forty-seven eight. Yep. Yep. My YouTube poll, I had it like um one hundred thirty-six point seven five, but uh, sixty-nine percent of people voted that it would not even go that high today. <laughs> so, so a lot of people yeah. voting on YouTube don't know. It spikes like every day, like shit with GameStop. Nobody fucking really knows. I, yeah. Uh, but Keith Gill knows he's going to make profit. Yeah, isn't he averaging like 26 a share or some shit? Yeah, I wonder if he's the only one that got in early and just held down and kept averaging. averaging. Oh, I, I bet you there's a lot of people that just are, you don't know about them. This is a lesson. If you get in on a stock like this and you don't want to make yourself popular, you don't want the SEC looking at you when the hedge funds are angry. Exactly. Some guy on the YouTube is like, he said he's making food when the price went to 147. <laughs> Rip. Damn. I almost fucking sold at 145, and uh, it fucking went back down. I was like, all right, I'm a, I'm a hold out. Fuck it. Uh, you should have. You could have got it. Look at this gain you could have got. Yeah, but if it been out last week, he would have been out 60 bucks a share. No. I have one meeting and I missed the big spike. Son of a... Yep. You, uh, you, I, I feel like it's probably going to go back down and consolidate where it was just at. Um, so, if, to be honest with you, if you, I mean, I'm just speculating, but if you were to sell right now, you'd kind of come up a profit of just a little bit at least. Yeah, for but me, I, 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 Oh, my you never bad. know that for sure, though. There's still an hour and fifteen left to market. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, right, right, right. Now I would only gain about 125 bucks. I That's think. That's why uh, I don't. I'm not trading anything yeah. in my E Trade account. I only trade the uh, in my uh, Thinkorswim account for the day trading because I'm I'm gonna hold the large amount in E Trade because I don't just in case you, you you can't ever be for sure that it's gonna go back down. Yeah, especially with GME, that shit's a freaking bipolar. I got sales on the 97, 197, 297, 397, 497, all at five shares each. The apes. I'm curious if it's like going to start 4, consolidating. Options, um, call options in the, between 120 and 130, I think they're going to try to hold up this 130 for the end of the day. But who knows? You're going to fight 130 for the next hour 15? That's crazy. 
So, so what, how does that what work? are the? Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. Like, how how does it work? Like, yeah, what are they doing to uh, try to prevent it from going any higher? What? What do you mean? Like, yeah, like you say, um, they're going to try to keep it, you know, at one thirty. Are, so how are they fighting the market? I, I mean, are they? I, I, was, I was meaning our side is trying to keep it at one thirty. Whoever the whales are that that are, um, uh, you know, on the long side. Oh, uh, so Just, they're trying to keep it up. Yeah. So basically, short. I don't know how they keep keep doing that. It Just held above one thirty the past two minutes. So basically. Us, this community that we're in in this Discord, we are the bulls, right? And the ones that want to push it down are the bears. Yep. Gotcha. Like a lot of like, uh, I guess people on our side are like the institutions actually like covering their um their contracts, and like the market makers are are have been like people who've been buying uh lower and are selling it right now to force it down. So bulls are the people that basically when like that spike we just had and it hit its peak, they'll, I mean, not bulls, but bears, basically they'll sell that just to make it drop back down. Like they'll sell a shitload of shares. Yeah, they'll do that and it'll artificially push the stock down immediately. It'll, you'll see that immediately if they buy big, big enough uh, shares to short and they keep finding shares to short, but. We've been tracking it, and every day the shares are freaking dwindling, and the interest on those shares have been increasing. It's like at nine percent now, I think, from like four to five to six, seven, eight, nine, and somehow they just keep finding shares to short. And we're just like, look, man, there's just way too many phantom shares out there. Something's gonna give, and that's why I'm holding. Right now, when you say that the interest on the share is like nine percent now, what in, in terminology for us, what does that mean? Is that they have to pay 9% interest on however many shares they borrowed to short. So it's like the hedge funds sold shares they didn't have, right? And so uh, so basically they borrowed money and now they have to pay interest for not paying it back in time. Yeah, they borrowed 400000 from 63 ETFs last week. Okay, I got it. I thought the 9% comes to us, like on every share that we own, we get an extra 9%. So that was my misunderstanding. No, it's like if you think about it this way, if you took a cash advance off your credit card and paid 20 or 30% interest on it for an annual, and then you put it into stock, they're paying interest the same kind of way. That's basically all it is. We're using cash, they're using credit. I got you. Appreciate that, y'all. Yeah, and the more phantom shares there are, the more it dilutes the stock, the price. And, well, I mean, it's speculative, but then it's kind of not. There's a video out there that, that explains this very, very well. I'm going I'm to post it. It's from 2008. Thank you. Just hold until March 19th. I will. I'm going to try to add some more money. When is March 19th? Next week or the week like, after? Keep it's holding the third past March Friday. If it's the third March Friday. March 19th is not guaranteed. March 19th is just as likely to be a huge drop in prices. It is going to be the short squeeze. That's That was a massive hype DD that was based on a whole bunch of bullshit. It, Negative. It, it, I'm not getting that from any Reddit post, and I'm not getting it from anything other than my own DD. And I posted the articles that I got it from, and quadruple witching is not BS. It's a totally real freaking thing. And it has very been very It's a real freaking thing. Yeah. And it's been and catastrophic. Catastrophic. Yeah. Has it been very much can, term. but there's evidence both for it being catastrophic in the up and for it being in the down. Just saying to tell people to hold until that day and and then that's it is not good advice. It can it, the short squeeze can happen after that. It, it's very likely to happen on that day. But to say that you're 100 percent positive that's going to happen on March 19th and that people only have to hold until that day is not true. That's not what I said. You're making a much longer statement than what I said. He never said that that was only that's going to happen there. He just I just heard hold until March nineteenth, and I was just that's it's all a major comment. catalyst. Just like four days after March nineteenth is the freaking core Q Q four uh, earnings report from GameStop, which is another catalyst. Absolutely. Again, I just wait, wait, wanted to clarify the statement. It's rising! It's rising! It's rising! It's rising! 
It's a posit super positive green candle. That's a small uptick. Hey, uh, what's okay? I know what a gamma squeeze is, and I know what a short squeeze is. What is the inf the infinite? I, I heard infinite squeeze or some shit like that. That's where it just goes beyond the moon, right? It feeds into itself because you're there. If there's no shares to purchase back, it's whatever the fuck we want to sell it for. You know what I mean? Oh, um, yeah. The infinity because they shorted more than 100% of the stock. So basically, they the company itself runs out of shares, and whatever we just decide to keep pushing into it, that's what it arrives to, right? Yes, if, if they're playing by the rules, that's how it's supposed to be, and um, they don't play by the rules, so... <laughs> right. I posted that video, man, like the failure to deliver on the general... If, any, if nobody's seen that, check that video out to so explain what the hell's going on. The website it's from, too, is pretty great. What? That's cold, Jimmy. Maybe let's go. Oh. If driving. anything, this is where the FOMO would be. Yeah. Uh, I'm driving right now, but what... what... What's what's GME at right now? One thirty-five. Okay, cool. I was yeah. gonna ask this, like, in I know before we were talking about the BW thing when I first started listening, but has there ever been any historic like any historic thing that like has done this like over the moon and like pays on to itself? Like that theory, like, is it something that's already happened in like some other stock in the past or? I mean, short squeezes have happened all the time, but the infinity squeeze, as far as I know, hasn't happened like this. You know Martin Skrilly? I'm not sure to pronounce his last name. Farmer Bro? Yeah, that guy, the Wu-Tang whatever. <laughs> he orchestrated a squeeze on a small dying pharmaceutical company and I think hit, I don't know, like 10,000% or something. Dang. You can find it on the web. It's out there. Actually, yeah. Yeah, they called him before Congress, and that dude had about, um, zero Fs given. Man, I wish I knew how. Because ah, I got one more strike, but I got 1,500 sitting just chilling right now on my freaking TD Ameritrade. I'm feeling I'm feeling real risky right now, y'all. I'm feeling real risky. Oh, why don't you just I was going to say, if you've got that much in your account, what would it take for you to set up your LLC so that you can become a day trader and not have to be screwed like that? Hey, um, Tame. GameStop Corporation is estimated to report their earnings on March 25th. Probably going to start seeing some sort of a uh, pattern here. You call it that power hour pattern. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they are really fighting for this freaking 130, though, baby. Shit, you know what I'm saying? We got this. That might, this might be our new new consolidating line right now, man. Shit, maybe. Let's see if it bounces off 130 again right here. So in the VWAP, if it's above this 127.69 uh, weighted average, 
uh, then that generally just means that it's it's gonna it's more likely to be uh, bullish, right? And then if it falls below that average, it's more likely to be bearish. Correct. I mean, like according to the way charts are set up, yeah. So basically, if it gets down to that weighted average and it falls below, uh, then you have a higher chance of it continuing to go low. Is that correct? Pretty, so pretty much, yeah. Because a lot of people, <clears throat> a lot of people go off uh, trading off the charts. Even though it, even though you never really know what things are going to happen, but the majority of people kind of go off the charts um, if they want to like play strategically. You know what I mean? So yeah, if it ends up going below that line, it's they're probably going to say, "Hey, you know what? It seems like it's going lower. Let's see how low it can go until it starts um, until it starts uh, um, consolidating." Uh, but yeah, you, you're right though. You're right. Right on. Yeah, I'm probably going to watch uh, some videos today um, after all this craziness is over just to kind of better understand like everything I possibly can about it because uh, according to the book that I'm reading, uh, he claims that it's like one of the most important uh, things for, you know, trying to read read the chart. Or at least, at least for a day trader. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude, definitely, bro, definitely is, dude, for sure, one hundred, one hundred percent. Hey, you can move, you can use the moving average in another. You get settled. yeah. Okay. You can you can that's, day trade as it. much as you want that's on the a cash. The only difference. You don't the need reason to worry why I was saying that, that you when you have over twenty five thousand, you are on, you should switch over to margin account is because when you're on a margin, you get your buying you get instant uh funds. I must have misheard your buying power. Yeah. Now you got to give it a all good. I must have misheard somebody. It's all good. It's surfing for ideas. Yeah, yeah. so you get like instant deposits usually, like yeah. momentum that's funds transferring. transferring. Yeah, so you'll so you'll never see these. anyone with a twenty five thousand dollar account with a cash account because then they can't day trade unless like they don't want to day trade and they'll just have it. But wait, I what? Don't, I no, I disagree with that because it's just what as the long fuck as you did he just say? Resources properly, <laughs> cash. No, yeah, no, no. But but majority of traders, if because by then by by the time you you know you reach twenty five thousand, you more you're more likely to be an experienced a, a more quote unquote experienced trader. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's right. So there's probably very small percentage of people that are in cash that accounts point. over twenty five grand. Yeah, so you're willing I to heard take from, out uh, that point. I heard back from no, no, Corey. you're not taking margin at all. No, I'm saying like once you feel like if you built your cash account up to twenty five k, at that point you're like, yeah, I feel like I could take out some equity and feel okay about it. Like, yeah, that's what he's saying. Like, there's almost no like almost all of them are margin accounts uh, after twenty five k. Yeah, I agree. Not with all. That. Of them, I still think cash accounts are beneficial. They're safer, at least. Yep. I have a cash account. I don't use margin at all. I can. I can get a hundred k of margin right now, and I, I don't still don't use that. That's a different type of margin. Is a cash you're account not, so subject to the same tax laws as margin? Yeah, same same laws. There's no uh, nothing distinguishes you from another. Holy shit! You guys see that Washington Prime Group fell another fifty six percent today. Which one is that? What's ticker? Uh, WPG. And I gotta Washington. say, bro, uh, I should have been, uh, I should have finished trading like five hours ago. What am I doing? I'm waiting for everything to settle a little bit. And I'm waiting for spot is that two sixty seven a little more. Wait, don't you? I got, feeling, I got a feeling that spy spy's gonna sell off like the last like ten minutes of market. Don't get Washington damn, Prime. WPG. Washington no, no, no! Prime don't buy it. I'm just saying it's down big. Uh, they're gonna go bankrupt. The stock's gonna be zero. No, no, no yeah, I'm not saying buy the stock. Okay. I need of you guys on no, stack. No. Who who brought up Washington Prime Group? I said it's funny how it dropped another fifty six percent today. Overflow? Yeah, what what's your name on Calicarn? Stag Industrials or Stag Industries? Oh, sorry. Stag Industrial. 
by the dip. Oh. Yeah, this company is not uh, not worth a buy. They don't dip the buy. It's just funny how quick it went from sixteen to two. I mean, not funny for people who own the stock. I need I an idea to drop. That uh, NNDM entry I got is holding. Come on, yeah, well, I need to drop more. It's probably going to... Okay. Are you guys getting... I think today was very, uh, very emotional, people. Yeah, highly emotional day. <laughs> oh, Gilster, did people you have panic. any luck yesterday with... Uh, so much panic. Um, with what? Oh, the new egg? Yeah. Shuffle? No, yeah, I didn't. Didn't we I, expect I, I, today I didn't. to be shitty? Damn. Yeah, yeah I had a pretty good That's why people thought it was going to yeah. be shitty. Yeah, I did get selected for Newegg, but... But I was saying that, you know... One way or the other. I was saying... You know, a really good performer today? You know, I've been asking so... So, CDEV, think... if any of you guys own CDEV. I've been up through pre-market, and pre-market was sketchy, but I did not intend for it to be this bloody. Like, I knew it was going to be a red day. Had no idea it was going to be this red. Jerome Powell. Yeah, we're, we're correction, dude. Correction. Correction. Or Smuckers. Oh, Smuckers is a calm and a storm. I think he scared some people. Spy's about to pitch over. <laughs> SJM. On, yeah, I need Spy to sell off, way. like, big time right now. You want to keep your Communism? Safe? Demons, butter and jelly. Elk, extra yes. velocity. See that. You grab more Very puts down there, killer. Uh, yeah, I, I picked some up. Down, I'm down dip, a little boys. bit. About a dip. I picked some up. Uh, uh, it ran a little right bit here. past that fib line, but those standard deviations, bro. They, they. If you're trying to catch a knife, those things are like almost essential. Not your line. Hmm. I mean, I've heard. I, I can. I'm. I'm already predicting that we're gonna have a huge sell off, like the last ten minutes of market. So, as well. So I'm not really Dude. tripping. Just markets are volatile. We have a correction period where people want to move their money around. So, yeah. you just gotta weigh it through. Like I'm down. Like in the past twenty, in the past two and a half weeks, I'm down twenty five percent from the top. I was up a Same. decent fifteen percent, and now I'm down a decent ten percent. I got a wet ass portfolio. I, I just yeah, think I like kind that. of was uh, been raising cash and waiting for. I mean, we all kind of knew the pullback was coming, yeah. Like ninety percent. Uh, like I, I knew it was coming, but not that hard. Just it. I chose my stocks to be resistant to a potential pullback. Stocks. I don't that, think this is a real correction yet either. No, it's I it's a correction mean. of certain sectors. I mean, I, shit, I thought it was a fire sale. It's, it's a little pullback, but this isn't a correction. No, it, it's 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 a, it's a pullback, back. but it's it's a correction of certain sectors. The green sector, as for, and the tech sector, are the two sectors that have hit, been hit the most, and it's because those two sectors are the ones that are seen as too much of an overvalued sector compared to. Uh, like the ten-year bond, that, like the like this started as soon as the ten-year started like climbing, tech and drain went down. Right, you mean it's like a regression to the mean. Able to borrow, is really yeah, yeah and, and you million. and you saw that on the last bond auction. Like you could have you seen that coming from the last bond auction. Yeah, it's you know? literally a regression to the mean. If you guys know math, what do you guys hey, think about like doing under a rock? All day. What's, it's uh, going back to the middle line. So you're saying this is a I spicy, really yeah. like J-U-M-I-A. I mean, you know to raise cash once. Uh, what sectors are down today, and how's the market looking for... Are we looking green tomorrow? Are you can move to Vegas. Prostitution's legal there. <laughs> is it really? Guys, we're not talking about the world's oldest profession. We're talking about stocks here. It's no, no, is it like, and he's like prostitution and now we're legal, though. Does, does anyone know what that. screen is on coders? Because it's legal, it's legal, legal in, in Vegas. Hookers and blow after hours, guys. There's supposed to be like a pretty, a big thing in the next future, you know, the near future, or like the next two months or something. Yes, sir.
so uh, I got I got onto them like two weeks ago, and uh, right now their their price is pretty good. Um, if you guys want to do some DD, I'll I'll send you guys some stuff as well. But uh, even just even just hearing their initial like you know um, you know bio, oh man, it's it's very very impressive to see what they're doing right now, and it's like damn, I'm surprised nobody's talking about this. It's crazy. Um, but, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll send you guys the ticker symbol in the, in the general, if you guys want to check it out. How much are they right now? I think they're like 30 cents or something like that. Hey, that sounds like a good plan. Drop about 200 in that right now. Yo, so what you're saying is buy more GME? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... Uh, to be honest with you, I I'm, everything. I'm going. I'm going to. Uh, I'm. A, I'm gonna find out Friday. I'm gonna find out tomorrow if I should get in again or not. I kind of want to see where things are after hours. I think we found our new floor of 130. Oh, right now, man, they're they're like battling for the 130 area. So, yeah, uh, there's normally. I'm oh, sorry. There's normally a lot of movement towards the last ten minutes, just like a forewarning. In power. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And also sometimes in the aftermarket you can see some weird shit. I can't now wait my, to watch. Now my question about the, the aftermarket. Um there is no way in the hell that us as normal traders could ever trade or whatever in the aftermarket. Yes you can. Uh, all you have to do is put a ticket in that's active during extended hours it's usually not advised because you don't know what's going to happen and you could have a buy order especially depending on your broker because if you have a market order out you could just get totally screwed because they'll just pick whatever the highest price is and sell it to you at market so you need to do a limit order and or or you could do a limit sell or a take profit. It's just it's typically not advised to do, but yes, you can. Yeah, in the book I was reading, uh the guy said if you're day trading, uh I mean you could if you wanted to, but I mean you're not really it's not a good idea because of the fact that the volume is so low that your orders may not even be filled in if you have like a shitload of shares, right? If say you're trading a hundred shares each, um, yeah, there's just no volume. The shares just aren't there to fill those limit orders. So, uh, yeah, that's why it's probably not a great idea. It's the general rule in day trading that you don't leave profit on the table. But that's day trading. Yeah, I've learned that, uh, Pretty much every strategy has different, well, strategies. Yeah, it depends on, depends on what you're doing. Like right now, I could really care less about ADA being, you know, what is it, 108 right now or something? I don't know. And Bitcoin being like 47,000 because I bought my Bitcoin when it was 38,000. And I bought my ADA when it was 91 cent and 89 cent. So I'm just sitting here chilling watching tickers and my gene and me i'm not selling until it hits a thousand dollars mentality yes sir preach it's all about perspective where you got in where are you trying to get out and everybody needs an exit strategy and just like an entrance strategy and like it's just the way different people play the game my exit strategy is to the moon now, I will see you there, my brother. Make sure somebody brings the grape crayons. I ate them all already. Sorry, bro. Now, after GME hits, you know, the moon, quote, unquote, um, do you think that is a, a, a company to stay invested in we, or just cash out? Uh, in this group chat the past couple days, actually. You know, it's just um matter of where you value the company i i personally uh i i like the company the whole uh 
you know, potential for massive gains and short time thing aside, I, I really do like GameStop and think its new management is going to take it in the right direction. I think if Ryan Cohen announces here pretty soon that he is teaming up somehow with Ann Hand with Esports Gaming, and that actually is legit instead of just a tweet, then yes, I think there's huge upside. Personally, it's all speculation, purely for, not financial for advice, but for educational purposes only, or entertainment purposes, you know. But I do because esports gaming is like $13 trillion industry a year. Yeah. And it's basically, you know, it's not untapped, but it definitely hasn't been fully tapped. Dude, absolutely. The esports industry has been entirely slept on for for a minute easily i mean dude like people show up to watch two dudes play freaking anything street like, fighter they, yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> smash brothers yeah. man is an, an amazing catalyst to bring esports to more than just where it's at right now especially um you know all speculation if uh he announced that he would be working with dan Han. so check this out just imagine for a second that your local GameStop sends you an email and says, hey, at our local GameStop, we're doing this competition for this game. And whoever the winner is, is going to play the other winners at the other GameStops for a chance to be on the big stage at eSports Gaming. Do you know how much like people would flock to that? Dude, I mean, even, you know, absolutely, but with the competition even is you know like just the nature of competition is that if you announce or send out an email to people who subscribe to your service and say hey we're having a tournament here then there are people who want to compete in that tournament you know e even if they don't get that spot on esports like i would show up to those for sure i would if it's a game i play if it's mortal combat let's go oh hell yeah you know? here in georgia they got esports teams at high schools now Dude, they got scholarships at colleges for esports gaming. It's a huge, 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 huge industry. Hell yeah, because the the amount of people that will just come to that one GameStop alone, and you got thousands of them across the country, like it, it will bring in a massive amount of revenue. Well, and it's for the individual, too. Let's say you have a, um, a Twitch channel and you play, you know, on Twitch and you stream live all the time and you just wanted to go to the competition just to advertise yourself, you know, like not maybe, you know, maybe you win, maybe you don't, maybe you move on to the semifinals or whatever, but you still get to show up potentially to a whole bunch of people at an event where people could learn your name and follow you on Twitch. So, I mean... It's, yeah, a win -win, it's, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. It's a win-win situation. I mean, it, yeah, it is. I, I I definitely agree with you there because I got a friend. Um, he posted just the other day. Uh, Twitch sent him an email, basically inviting him or accepting him in the Twitch family or some shit like that. Well, basically, I guess he's done done it enough and got enough views now that he has some type of uh seat. At the Twitch community, it's called so, a partnership, but yeah, yeah. So, and I, I was proud of him for that because, like, he used to be in the streets. Like, when I say in the streets, I'm talking about in the streets. Now he's killing it with 2K and uh, uh, Fortnite, all of all other type of games. So I'm proud of him, really. So it's it's just crazy how you know game gaming can really take change your life. It can make you a better person. Yeah, massive upside to unrealized potential as to what gaming can do for people if they dedicate a lot of time practicing it. Because, you know, it, if people are really that into it, and evidence suggests that a lot of people do have that type of interest, um, then there is a lot that could... What am I trying to say here? There, there's just a massive upside as to, to where gaming could create real paths and real life for real people and not in this like alternate gaming world like it's always been you know like people starting to recognize the clout that comes with it and you know like the respect 
Yeah, because that guy, Sonic Fox. My bad. Go ahead. Oh, I, yeah. I was just going to say, like, especially the pandemic, I think it helped that because, like, first of all, the newer generation, they're used to having this gaming systems that I didn't necessarily... Like, I grew up with gaming in the beginning of it, but how advanced some of this gaming is, like, I started playing video games because, one, I was unemployed. We couldn't go anywhere because of the lockdown. And it was the only way that I could virtually hang out with my friends. And that's why I loved it because, like, I didn't have to go to nobody's house. We just gamed. We talked over whether it was, you know, PS4, X, Xbox. There's, like, a huge community aspect of it that I find that a lot of people are craving right now. And I think that's going to continue to do. Dude, I, I think to your point, I think it's going to as we come out of lockdown, continue to build the community. Me too. But my, my only thing is what pisses me off about like Sony and my, I, I can't even say Microsoft, but like Sony with their PlayStation, it, it's, it's just like Jordan's like, why would you only make a lim I understand the market, the cap and you know, the, Got it's not even that, man. It's not Sony's fault. The sneaker heads all jumped in, and they're using their sneaker bots to get them all. It's not. They could have never. They never anticipated the sneaker heads jumping in on capitalistic venture like that. There was nothing they could do. Like seriously, they were completely unprepared and caught off guard. So you think that's the same thing that happened, like with these PlayStation Fives? I know it is. I used to be a sneaker head. I'm telling you right now, if you go on eBay, look at the usernames and then look at the other items they've sold. It's nothing but sneakers. Like these, these, the, 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 I'm not saying like they're all like, I'm sure there's a couple of them that were probably gamers, but the majority of the scalpers are all sneaker heads, man. They already had the bots. They were already using the bots in the sneaker community for the last 10 years. Yeah. If you go to stock X, which is the sneakers marketplace, they have like PS fives there now. They did the same thing with GPUs, man. They, they did the exact same thing with GPUs, and they're doing it to anything. They're doing they they're they're in discords just like this, and they're like, "Hey, what are we jumping on next?" That, if you don't think they're doing that, it's it's the show. No, I I believe you because I'm 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 not I'm not gonna say I'm a sneakerhead. I am, but I more so just sell sneakers. I don't really collect every sneaker. Like I have an actual cousin that works at the factory overseas. And she lets me know what's coming out months way before they even drop or even hit the net. And she gives me the opportunity, you know, to send over a couple thousand. She'll ship me about 10 to 15 pairs or whatever it is. And I sell it, but I'm not the one that's on the internet like that. I do more so hand over fist, you know, physical uh, encounters. Um, I don't really trust the internet a whole lot like that. I'm, my, my goal is to open up a store, though, before the end of the year and, and go from there. And they are legit. They're not knockoffs. They're the actual factory themselves. So. I hear you. I mean, there's a lot of money in that industry, for sure. I mean, and the thing is, it's like all the sneaker cons got canceled because of COVID. And, I mean, that's like. You know, these, these cats bring like a whole table of shoes and sell the whole table. I'm not talking about like a pair. They'll set up like 30, 40, 50 pairs you're, and, you're set, in North and Carolina. sell the whole table I'm in South Carolina. Oh, okay, South Carolina. Because I know in Charlotte, um, I want to say like three years ago, I know Adidas used to come up there a whole lot. Like Adidas will come to the Bojangles Arena or it's, it's a place that's beside the Bojangles Arena. And it'll look like a big ass flea market, like you said, with a bunch of tables and a shitload of sneakers. And like, yeah, it's sneaker con. Yeah, it, it was crazy. Like, you can go in there, take about $200, $300, and rack up on some stuff. And then you might come across some people that got, you know, rare. GameStop rare candle. Thing. GameStop's green again, up to 135 Oh, your boy tuning in. Y'all see that uh, recent tweet? Sorry about that. My bad. I just said that's some pretty nice resistance. Oh, yeah. It's sitting pretty. But uh, have you guys seen the recent tweet from Ryan Cohen? Oh, it's like a picture from an old commercial for Pets.com.
Can you put it in the general chat? Uh, Wait, are you sure it's the real Ryan Cohen and not a troll? I'm checking right now. Yeah, it's the real one. He just put it. He put the commercial, the 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 stuffed animal they use in the commercial, and just put a vomit face on it. I love the uh, the comment in response to his tweet. Here we go again. Hey, I remember that little dog that used to come up on a TV. <laughs> yeah, I remember it too. And dang, that, that's impressive. I don't even remember where it's from. Right. I seen that earlier in this group chat. Somebody just dropped it in there. That was about a good 20 minutes ago. So I think that what this means, I don't, is that Chewy or was that Pets.com? Because I think that animal was Pets.com. It's pets.com. So what he's saying is that like people are comparing GameStop to Blockbuster just like when he took over Chewy and founded Chewy, they were saying it was pets.com. That's what I think he's saying. So like he's basically saying, I did, you know, I did this with Chewy, I can do this with GameStop. What did he do with Chewy? It turned him into basically the largest pet supply online store, period. Oh my god. By the way, I want to give credit to uh, Mouse. Mouse actually shared that like literally an hour ago. I didn't even notice it. Yeah, because I seen it and I was like, I, I just thought somebody was being funny and I just kept scrolling. I didn't even read it, but I did notice it. I was like, that shit looked familiar. I didn't know if it was a commercial or, or a TV show from back in the day, but I remembered that little doll. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Um, so a lot of people are saying, um, here, I'll just read it. It means that with Chewy, Ryan Cohen simply perfected the pets.com failed business model. He will transform GME, GME in the same way. Um, let's see, hold on. he didn't start from scratch this time because GME had valuable vendor and customer relationships and assets. Leadership matters. Ryan is that young looking guy, ain't he? Yeah, he's like 32. Yeah, yeah, some, somewhere around there. Like, I, I will be honest with this GME thing. I personally really think it's got really good long term potential. If I'm picking, like, I have AMC and GME, and I feel a lot more confident long term about GME than I do AMC. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, AMC, I feel like um, so AMC is probably going to bust. Um, at what we're seeing right now, that I, that's definitely not what I'm expecting. I mean, it's a good push up, which is nice, but I definitely see it busting. Maybe once or twice, uh, maybe just a little bit bigger, um, and then after that, I'm probably gonna get out and um and just you live off see, that you don't see it hitting at least 12 or 16 bucks by summer i mean it AMC? Could. i do i see it because you gotta think oh, hell yeah a lot of a lot of marvel movies is coming Cinemark out is trading for at 26 dollars right now yes it has less shares but amc is like way bigger than cinemark like like go look at the ticker um, My my Get only thing, though, day. I was going to say, Alamo just filed for bankruptcy. And that's like a completely separate theater company that also had the bar demographic. So I'm just. Oh, heck yeah. AMC is huge. Yeah. I, it's, it's, I, I mean, I, me personally, I feel like it's going to. Heck yes. For sure. For sure. I, I love the movies, but to be honest with you, with the way streaming has kind of taken over during 2020, I, I realistically, I'm not trying to be pessimistic, but I have my doubts. I mean, I love the movies personally, but I'm I'm 40. Uh, I think the younger crowd, I don't know. I mean, if they enjoy staying at home more with their friends and watching what they want to watch versus going to the theater, I mean, I don't know. I don't know because it's the it's going to be the teenagers and the 20 year olds that 
that make the difference, honestly. I mean, you know, certain family, like once you get kids and stuff, you can't really go as much as you would like to go. You know, it's the younger generation is really going to be the catalyst of whether or not it succeeds or fails, in my opinion. But I'm just a dumb ape. I mean, hey, I'm also going to depend on the box. I said I'm just a dumb ape. <laughs> oh, man. I see GameStop trying to hold off right there at 135. Y'all think they trying to keep it there, fight it? I think a lot of it's going to be the quality of the box office, too. Well, didn't um, Disney Plus bought Paramount, right? Or they bought the rights to Paramount? Wasn't that the commercial during the Super Bowl? So, I mean, that means all Paramount movies are already going to be on Disney Plus. So well, and then HBO Max, too, has been dropping all the new movies. Yeah, yeah but, exactly. But the thing is this, y'all, and, and this this just me. and if I'm wrong, if y'all feel like I'm wrong, then, you know, by all means, let me know. But let, let's just think. All right, Disney Plus got, what, WandaVision and that Winter Soldier crap. They got all, they own Marvel. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is that that's what I'm getting at. I don't think Disney is going to put, uh, let's just say the next Avengers movie, uh, uh, Avengers 6. I don't think they're going to put that on Disney Plus just yet. I think they're going to hold off until this coronavirus mess is over so people can go to the theaters. Like, they're top-notch movies. I just don't see them just dropping them on Disney Plus because they know a lot of people can just share their account and see it. They're not going to make as mm -hmm. much money. Right, so but I, their, yeah. their Mulan, the Mulan movie is the exception because Mulan, they just tried to play it. And no oh, shit, it's climbing. What's your yeah? You at, see, you like, see that that hole, that big ass gap. Uh, that means that yeah. there was no. It was pretty much. Well, there's nobody there. there. There's no support there. So look at that. That this essentially is telling you at what price the most volume, the most shares <laughs> traded hands, right? <laughs> Who's Chuck, Chuck. watching? Ch Chuck, but he doesn't have a stream up. Oh, Chuck, okay. if you can, man, request stream privileges, so then you can show your charts and talk people through them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, not but, only but yeah, that, just, dude, that, yeah, yeah, you're not seriously personal information about yourself or your account on the. Oh yeah, for sure. No, we yeah. seriously uh, have to talk about to MLG about shutting the fuck up. He won't shut his uh, push to talk. Well, he won't turn push to talk on. Look, well, when he's in here, you guys got to like, say it. Like, you got to say, let him We do, talk, but he tells you, like, you know what he does. He doesn't admit to anything. He's mute him for a little bit or something. Jamie's on the. Just he doesn't admit to anything whenever you tell him that. It's like, dude, you're hoarding the chat. It's like, ah, no, I'm just trying to do this. Well, but the. the like, he's pretty knowledgeable, though. Yeah, the, for the sure. No judgment on him. It's just that different people got to be able to, you know talk in here that's all no so he's knowledgeable in what he does not everything that happens here because we were talking to anybody who says he was anything trying to catch the knife on a play no, that he was making today he, and he, he started Yo, saying some one shit one about getting me IV one crushed one by he, he buying have shares yeah yeah cool. i heard that i was like what the fuck he's still a kid man he's gonna be good probably i know and he's he's dangerous though whenever he hijacks the mic yeah are you talking are you talking about mlg yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's smart. He's Some got of the things that he does and says just to make no sense. And people have to watch out because you're going to end up losing a lot of money if you try doing exactly what he Dude, does. Dude, imagine listening to a kid with a squeaky voice tell you what to do with thousands of dollars. I know. I can't yeah, do it. I have to sit in another room. I'm not saying he's stupid. I'm not saying he's stupid, but just imagine behaving like that. He's not stupid. Really he's just surprised. bullshitting his way through life. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all uh, like, I, I want to say one last thing, though. Skinny white kid's name from N NSAV, the rapper. Yeah, so much hate for skinny white kids. Who is NSAV like. rapper? What are you talking about? Remember that little kid, NSAV, the music producer. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, hold on, hold on. He wasn't from the company though. They distanced him. He made twenty one yeah, million dollars. That's Look, right. This is why I'm, uh, about Jake. No, Jake. <laughs> hey guys, <right? laughs> that's his name, bro. Okay. Oh, bro seriously, though, the NSAV company. It's they put out new information today. It's up fifty percent on the day. Yeah, I got four hundred in it. How is your position on it? Like, uh, I got my my purchase down to three cents because I bought up at the peak at five cents. So okay. I'm down to three. I mean, I'm still down a little bit, but I was down hella bad. I bet and it I'm, has a pump, bro. Uh, I'm working my way back up. 
that. We're we'll we'll putting a lot of new information out. He's at fucking crazy, so man. We'll I got all this fucking Tesla. I could have just bought GME. Yo, yo, <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, just, dude, I'm not going to you guys to buy GME the whole time. Watch I have to, but I stopped. Fucking vertical. I stopped telling people to buy it at 40. But it's really not, though. Like, just imagine uh, if you bought it at 400. You know, you'd be up some. Oh, wait. Just know one of these days, they're get, this pump's going to end, and somebody's going to be holding the bag. You're making your profits, but. It already happened. Playing safe is not the wrong Somebody's going to be left holding the bag. Look, bag you holding is fun. It teaches you responsible trading. 5% mark. Shut the fuck to up. Get back up. Hey, Chuck, yeah. you go and review that. So you got the truth is, is volume volume at least in my opinion oh, anyway. oh what you gotta say GME, facts let's hear it let's hear what facts gotta GME, say gme could go to 800 asking, uh, do you know gme is Coder, he believes again. Like, i'm buying I just the air just air 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 well look look hold on it's not just me <laughs> i know it's, uh, know, but they 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 volatility for their options like says that Okay, so it's it's not just me. It's like there's literally probabilities of where it could go that you can look at based on the also, options GME change for it. Is so what should we do? Yeah, options change doesn't lie. Sorry, and I'm looking at the wrong. <laughs> one, but... No, it's not no, that it doesn't. It lie, isn't but based on that... what people think it'll go to. This is based on reality where it actually could go to. Some, Some people buying are like it's worth what it what it is right now, and it's like no, it's fucking not. It yeah, probably is. Worthless it really probably paper. is. Though. It's just That's your fucking Ryan Cohen, and you can buy up enough to become it's like an actual owner. It's just a that. worthless piece of paper. Yeah, a thirty to forty-five max. So there's a three hundred and thirty-four percent IV on the in the money calls right now. You think GME is a worthless stock? I mean, it's not worthless. I'm not opining on that. I'm just saying it's yeah, highly it's volatile. It's a dying business model with some speculation on what avenue they could go, which vertical. Highly no, they, they're so. already going okay, that way. Right. a lot of market Worse manipulation. I forget that part. The market Who manipulation made me some GME. money. So what should we do? Yes. Guarantee anyone talking bad on GME has never looked deeply into their financials. Right. right. I've looked. I mean, dude, not, saying that they, not saying that they're going to turn around, but I just guarantee they haven't. Keep in they mind offer, the switch coming. They they price per earnings is great. What are you talking about? All right, I'm at 133. I'm trying to decide if I should jump out and then buy back on a dip or just let it ride. Jump out and buy back. How long have you been holding? Just yeah, I think that this price currently is sustainable. If you just got in and it's a considerable amount of shares, then maybe take a couple bucks and wait yeah. it out. Yeah. I mean, maybe you should. So been I've been holding for, for like while, I've been holding right? for almost a month. I've been like 133. I've been holding about yeah. five. Then I don't know, man. You already bought the ticket. It's up to you where you want to get off at what station. But hey, if it's <laughs> fucking doing what it's doing today, that's that's got to say something. I know, bro. Like it's oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. More shorts uh, like, covering. It's, it's like when, when the stock can't recover it's tomorrow, it's, it's like going to be I'm bad news for GME. Bro, bro, you only got like a dollar fifty to make up your mind. Eighty cents. Uh oh. You know what's funny? It's like how little rationalism and logic is left in the fucking market after like March <laughs> last year. The gambler has taken over. It's just people buying and selling things. Are you retarded? Market, Do you know what's happened in one year in terms of technical innovation? People think. Imagine no, but the market, the, like market, the market should have never recovered as fast as it did after March. Yes, no, it did. No. Yes, of course, because mean? the Treasury. What do you mean? The Fed and the Treasury. What this do you think? This is a rigged game, my man. No doubt. Did you guys know Mnuchin directed the Lego movie? What the fuck? What? Real have shit. You his, have you seen his Instagram? It's worth looking at. Steve, Man the uh, Treasury? Steve Mnuchin, the, fervor, the former Treasury Secretary's Instagram is absolutely worth spending a few minutes on if you haven't. That's cool. Scroll back, to, scroll back to last January of uh, 2020 in December. I feel much <laughs> better Coder about my uh, penny stock life, account now. I pretty much sold out of all except for that one fishy NSAV, but I bought into X1 at like $29. So that should be uh, that should be a good long term, I think. Dude, GameStop yeah, yeah. is stable yeah. now. The funniest that GameStop is stable. Uh, Muckers. Dude, it's better than time. stable. Is NNDM going to go to six today? Probably not. Doubt it. And fucking Smuckers finished with the nice little GG.
Smuckers don't care. It's in a different universe. Yeah, it's it's protected by the Smuckers. GM is the new Smuckers. I said it first, bro. <laughs> Yo, Chuck, can you go I've back and explain what you're focused on in that numbers. area where the volume gap is awesome. on SPY? SJM is a high yield stock. It's perfect. Okay, uh, so it's not necessarily that I'm focused on the volume. I mean, what the what it's telling me on the right side of that chart, it's, it's just telling me where the most shares or at which the highest amount of shares traded hands, essentially. It's just telling me where there was a, a, a liquidity zone. So you can see... If you're looking at that chart to the very, very far right, that there's a huge gap, right? Where you see a bunch of people bought right at the top, and then you have a huge gap where nobody really bought. And then it just essentially ran down to the next area, the next, um, I don't even know what you'd call that, like apex of that chart, or like high, where it protrudes out to the right, uh, left side. Yeah, apex makes sense. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much all you're looking for is... It, because that's the thing is, like most people, they don't understand is it, you're just hunting for areas of liquidity because that's where you're going to find essentially your your buyers. If I that could makes better explain sense. This. So if yeah, you could better gold, explain it. No, not necessarily that. It's just it's just uh, it's it's where you know most interest was at that price, and that's what that chart represents is you know essentially. But go ahead, professor, give it a crack. Uh, Professor? I was like, hey, Coder, what's this 2020 vision on Steve Mnuchin's thing? Uh, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? The it Treasury buying, plans to sell 20-year debt. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's just funny, and then the pictures of him with his wife fucking looking like they're fucking jet riding and shit on the government jets. He, he was. Shit down too. His, his wife had some crazy shit on there. I mean, good on him. Like, she's, you know, I'm, they're a beautiful family and all that. God bless him, but it was also but, pretty silly. No, fuck Steve Mnuchin. I hope he, he did died, do a bunch bro. of government riot on his last few months. Yeah, his his wife was like, Mnuchin's a piece of shit. Happy to have you know government not, jet Mnuchin's a piece wife. of shit. We should get to all day. Yeah, his a, wife. She was pay our very beautiful. Yeah. Well, I hope she was wife a hot wife. It, it was actually, it's actually like consent. So, which one uh, of you in here is Steve Mnuchin? Now you're not going to speak up? You're wishing you death on the man and you can't even say it? I didn't wish death on him. Yo, I, no, the one I guy hope he dies. Oh, I hope okay. he dies. Yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, okay. All right. You, do, you know, do you know how shady of a fucker that dude is? You know, I got a free $2 bill here with his name on it. <laughs> I give it to you for your I birthday? hope his wife gets exposed. I got it from Littleton Coin Company for free. <laughs> I think he did what he had to do. I think everyone I don't know knows what, what they I would have, have to done do differently if I was in his job. And like, I don't like him. I don't. No, it's not about his job. It's about what he did previously, bro. He has a shady ass history. Yeah. Yeah. Who are y'all talking Goldman. about? Was not he a Goldman Sachs or something? Goldman takes care of their customers, boys. <laughs> American yeah, they're, banks they're don't. They don't know, no bank. NSAB of sixty percent. Goldman Sachs does. Who are y'all talking about? That shady. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> fucking shady. It doesn't shady. fucking matter. And they're taking care of their customers and themselves. Yeah, yeah. shit. Goldman's oh, best investment bank way. on Wall it's Street. Way, bro. It's that's the how boomer they, way. That's how boomers roll. <laughs> Me first. So that's why, that's why I pay for Goldman's data is because if I can figure out where they're at, grab the whale tail and take out it where for a ride. Did I sell my GME if this goes to 140 again? SLGG took off. These are all questions Ooh, you need on, to spy. prepare yourself before you get into the trade, sir. When you start, when you trade, you want to write up a trade plan. Like, this is when you take profits. This is when you get in. And, uh, you know, that kind I of stuff. Or just yeah. all yeah. Yeah. That's all yeah. risk management. That all comes down to risk management. When I trade, I'm yeah. looking for yeah. either yeah. a minus 50% yeah. return yeah. or a plus 2,000% return. You, not not oh. you, but... What, you guys can barely hear me? Not you. No, sorry. Uh, I someone else said a name. You can hear me oh, now? Uh, yes, we oh. can hear you. All right, so I'm about, <laughs> I'm about yeah, to we can hear you. GME. I'm finally about to get rid of this fucking GME that I have for 78 bucks, 25 shares. Good, dude. Nice. Hell yeah, Not bro. 
it's not a bad spot, but who knows? No, it's oh, I, I, I do. I do. Should I should I show half? Yeah, do yeah, that. I'd be neutral here. I wouldn't yeah, I would be buying nothing. Rams don't need. I, I'd, I'd, I'd be smart, man. Yeah. Sixty-six percent. Can't even wash paper hands. You can always buy back if he really believes in the stock. He can sell it all and buy back in. Dude, yeah, yeah. 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 Next week, yeah. uh, but you uh, personally, in next week I'm expecting some GMB bids. Like NSAB, NSAB. I know, bro. Sixty-seven percent. Yeah. I think I might grab an Amazon call and play the old close open again. Surprise! Oh, it's because it's a penny stock. It's not coming. Out. I can't believe Tesla calls would have been. Yo, is anyone buying the TikTok IPO? Fuck that. Maybe. Maybe. Well, I told you this would pay off, Coder. I told you I was gonna double down, and it worked. Dude, anybody man, buying the buzz? Doesn't always work. Uh, well, they put out more information, take which is fucking profit, me though. I want to pull out right now because I'm actually not losing any money. Yeah, take some profit. But um. But the more these Chinese company put out like validity to their companies, I'm like, oh shit, there might be a bigger wave. What's that like, ticker for TikTok? You know they like pay T I K T O K TikTok ticker. Yeah, the reason that they said no TikTok IPO is because they're going with a SPAC instead. Or are they, is it a SPAC or a direct? No, I'm just making shit up. Well, there's well, there have, they have, you know, it's direct, direct listing and the Nasdaq. Too. Which is a somewhat attractive option. Well, it's new. It's a newer, like, the, there's new rules for it and stuff. No, yeah, like the that. Obama Jobs Act. We were about that last we're night. reading about it last night. My ears. Well, I got shit. Shit. come at over later tonight. Maybe we'll have him on. Obama? Obama's in the house again? Dude. Nancy Pelosi. Oh, bro, you think we can get Obama on here? You yeah, said you want Nancy Pelosi to sit on your face? Well, no, we oh. eat babies for breakfast. I want, I want COVID. Cat. I want Cassie hey, Wood to you know, sit on my face. Plan against the, America. The ten-year bond I have this is window in my bedroom that keeps getting delivered. Very pissing me off. Fucking Discord sub. Hey, whatever happened to that English dude who was gonna look up that hacker and see if he can get him on here? Oh yeah. Oh, Jerry, hey, good day, pip pip. That's oh, me. Oh hell yeah, spy. The one he said he was gonna get the whole Discord booted or some shit. He was I probably that was, got killed, bro. I thought we met him. I thought that it's was money secret. brain. That's me. I'm the hacker. Haha, <laughs> you are all down. The ten year bond. Yeah, that is, that is money brain. Remember that we're not. I have all your DNSs. It's over. You have our DNS. DNS. I have found all your DNS Come servers through. and all your DHCPs. Don't turn me on behind seven points. Bro, please don't do you know, do you know, do anything. Just don't take my DNS, bro. Please. I bro, it's too late. I found your DHCP server know. list, bro. I'll give you my FTP instead. You found bro, my DNS. Late. You found my DNS. Come to my house. You'll find my. Bro, I found your gateway, your local LAN network. Uh oh. The only way I am not going to dox you on the internet is if you send me your social security number. Fuck his cow. Oh, yeah. This Discord I'm running is running on onion servers. Oh, uh, it's oh, too no. late. I hacked the onion. What? Uh, all, all seven layers of it? Yeah, I got the shallots. I got the shallots. He works with the NSA, bro. I got the spring onions, bro. You think I don't have them? So, uh, guys, uh, the, the, ten, the 10 year is up 5% today. Another 5%. Dang. Nice, nice. Good uh, oil is up 5%. Lion. So oil stocks is becoming more viable tomorrow, maybe, by my rally. I don't like yeah. I don't like oil as a long, but I think oil is still a good short. You guys think we're green or red tomorrow? I believe we're going to be green. We can be only green, green oil right now. Yeah, I think we're, we're going to be fine. Well, oh, I think it's going to follow the trend of the last 10 minutes. You know what? I think that we're going to have a bloodbath the next 10 minutes. Well, I think we have uh, about the next ten minutes, and we'll have a red day tomorrow. Aren't we? They just, they just want to take their chips off the table so they can figure out where they wanted to put them. I want, I want hedge funds to sell the last ten minutes. You gotta know they... when to hold them. Hedge How funds. We... There's uh, Goldman's. I posted Goldman's orders in the VC. Hell yeah! Thanks, dude. That's my uncle. I'm holding my shares with these diamond hands. You know, Marty. Jeez, I can't too. believe Goldman bought so much sundial. That is actually my uncle's last name. Yeah, I know. He works for Goldman. He does not work for Goldman. Oh, well, you don't know that. He's a semi-professional he fisherman. 
Does that sound like a real job, dude? I mean, that's not his like I main work job. For Goldman, dude. I, I I forgot what he does as his main job. I think the he's a pharmaceutical salesman. Yeah, somebody. you guys, a uh, little homework. Learn about order blocks. If you guys don't know what order blocks are, learn what order blocks are, and then institutional uh, money flow in and out of order blocks. Is. We're down to leather. Yeah, okay. hey, oh, that, guys, why are we worrying that, about a bearish or bullish market that? when the Roblox IPO goes next week? Yeah, is that uh, on spy? Is that just obviously that's going to push a very, very bullish market? Yeah, that's uh, spies on the top, and then you got Nasdaq on the bottom. We and have got Roblox even above that. We have hit uh, official correction. We're down eleven percent on the Nasdaq. Ooh. And you could see that Goldman wanted <clears throat> wanted to push SPY down because they were dropping their pin all day. All day, they just kept lower and lower and lower. So you, you can see Goldman Sachs orders? Yeah, like, I paid for it. What are you showing us? I, I'm not sure. That's what it is. I, it's Goldman Sachs order blocks. But f from their brokerage or from their company's funds? or Dude, they're not, they're not giving you their full info. I can get to guarantee you. I can't, can't you can elaborate always, on that, but I can... can it's information. You can use it if you want to use it. You can use it. If not, don't use it. You can only see who, uh, wonder, like, uh, where that order came like, what from. What specifically means. It's just where their bids are. It's there. Yeah. It's a lot like of their, institutional their banks or their institutional, like their mutual fund managers are doing this, or their customers are doing this. Is what I'm asking. It's their anything traders. coming up. Okay. All right. But the I mean, this doesn't today. account for this doesn't account for like dark pools and things like that because that's that's how a lot of big thing. big customers move money around. Yeah, like oh, you, you can easily get at light to qualify for a dark pool someday. No, if you anyone have a terminal, have any, uh, uh, anyone have any good have, green stocks today? What's a dark? Rex Silicon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know this thing was green. GMS. I had a C Dev and SLGG. Yeah, how the fuck SLG is SLGG going so well right now? Yeah, I don't know why the fuck SLGG is so up, even though this market's red. Oh shit, it's going up, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, last exactly. I looked at it, it was at like $7. Exactly. So, it it's going to break probably eight fifty today. Really? So, it went up like really uh, big after hours yesterday. Is it achieving meme it. status? Damn, I, I wish it's it breaking meme that. status. Yeah, there's been news published today, but... I'm surprised it's not all over Wall Street bets yet. Well, it was a Wall Street saying that it's going to break 850. What's your username? Is it because oh, that was a total guess? Is it because it's a small? Yeah, what's your username? Banning Caledon SLGG. Do you want to meet me? Because Ryan my guess. When there's rumors about that tweet with the ice cream cone and the frog, I think the guy some... muted me because of my guess. Oh, interesting. That is an interesting connection yeah, right there. But this is only 160 guess. million cap. Yo, the 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 tweet with the ice cream cone, the frog, meant that the Mac D was froggy. Bro, I think that guy really did mute me because I guess. There's another <laughs> rumor where where the. Mm -hmm. No, and and hand the CEO of SLGG worked for the Frog Group before. <laughs> You're not serving me. <laughs> Yo, hey, there's, there's probably gonna be some shit go down. Yo, don't fucking in guess in this Discord. What the fuck is wrong that? with you? Look at that that that, that last. <laughs> No educated guess of Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm not allowed to <laughs> guess. Your theory is elsewhere, guess, yeah. sir. I gotta make total guess. Yeah, you guesses. don't have GME, get GME, because we're going to the fucking moon. All right, I'm gonna make an uneducated guess. GME by 300. All right, GME 7,000. <laughs> three trillion. Three trillion. No, three trying trillion. to get this. No, game. GME at thirty thousand dollars a share. All right, I'm, I'm out on one. GME. I'm out. I'm in on GNE. Uh oh. <laughs> it's called Genie Energy. Yo, 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 mic yo, is yo, that? Yo, yo, away yo, from the yo. mic. Bro, it, with a name like Genie Energy, how can it go wrong? That it's share price is seven seven seven. That's a sign from above. Yeah. Oh, you're right, bro. Triple yo, seven. Bro. That's got to be good luck. <laughs> One of my wishes is for you to move away from your mic. <laughs> Oh, am I too close to my mic? Sorry. The spy gets above uh, 378. It's my bad. 378 Is it better to 380. Now? It's not going to be good for your bears. If I had a genie with three wishes, it would... <laughs> you dumb loud, my G. Am I Anybody not? buy into the buzz ETF? What would your wishes be? I got an X1 at the fucking floor today. GME! Get the fuck in! 
It's having a little ass sale. No fire sale yet. Up some fucking walls at one thirty. Woo! To the fucking moon, baby. <laughs> Yo, who else is going to the moon? I don't you better, care you better be in this chat different. on the 19th, man. Yeah, I know. I, I already heard. I'm going to be here. GME to 800. That's what I'm selling. Fuck that. I'm out of there. <laughs> 800 is fucking peanuts. All right, guys. I'm telling you. I'm not going to lie. If, if, it breaks, if it breaks 250, it keeps going. I'm putting all my life savings into this shit. <laughs> guys, I'm telling you. SLGG. <laughs> Fuck Wall Street. Fuck the suits. Can <laughs> check the volume profile in NNDM? Look at that. You got uh, SLGG. Your own hedge fund. Now. My price target guys... for the end of the day by uh, Super League way. Gaming is probably $47. <laughs> I'm including no aftermarket, way. of course. You guys think any hedge fund guys come in here and just listen? Just yes. to get sentiment and stuff? All day, they every legitimately day, come in here. Oh, no, I mean, we, they were yeah. articles the about... Uh, they get they wasted, like, uh, and then at the end of the night, it gets audio. People that just pop in, and you're like, it's damn, they know a lot about the market. Family members, their family members. Yeah, like, they're starting to say the stupid Yo, shit we say on Bloomberg. I'm a no, they got, like, uh, yeah, they got... That's why I sound like an idiot. They got scrubbers for audio, so they can capture audio. No, that's like, like way too much work, guys. They have, uh, they have uh, audio scrubbers that. that just pull up all the audio and uh, search through it and like look for keywords and shit. <laughs> yeah, like they NSA. Just, they don't just listen. They like talk the goddamn too. NSA. They're trying to manipulate it. Yeah, how the keywords they have is retarded. You know? yep. I gotta ask you. Yeah, I gotta ask a question. Uh, how do you get access to the dark pools in the U.S.? Do you have to like ask specifically for it? Apply. Can I have a lot of money? The table, yeah, if you have to ask, don't worry about dollars, it. Right? Yeah, if you have to ask, you're not in the club. Be illegal as fuck. Nothing if, be if you want to track it, look at uh, Flow Algo. Yep, yeah. Flow Algo, baby. Uh, uh, like, I, I already, like, I had access to it before in my country through a terminal, but wouldn't it be, couldn't you get access to that in your country by getting, like, say, the Bloomberg terminal, you would automatically get access to yeah, our uh, kind of thing. seven dollars two weeks. But don't you think with that information, that would allow you to position your capital in this market a little bit better, and you could make it, that money it, back? Dark pools certainly makes you able, make you able to position your money better, get you better bid and bid and ask prices. Let example. you know when the All right, whales according are to Investopedia, though, there are three types of dark pools, uh, with about 50 registered as of February 2020. There are broker dealer owned dark pools, agency broker exchange owned dark pools, or electronic market maker dark pools. This is how they do offshore shit. That's funny, dude. So Holy some shit. are like, uh, you can use Goldman Sachs's Sigma X or Citibank so City Match. Market. This fuck, this shit is ridiculous. Bullshit. It's like, but but when it when it like forty percent, when it comes to dark pool trades, you don't specifically see it coming up as a dark pool trade. I suppose that w at least it was like that for me. It was more like uh, you just got access to it. Like you could you got access to those shares that was trading in the dark pool at any given moment in time. So you could get filled at a lower price to someone in the dark pool was selling at a lower price, and whatnot. Mm. Chinese mafia just comes There's in there. I'm, going, I'm moving into SCY sitting, pretty hard right sitting now. Sitting on my hands. Grab your ankles. Three and a half more minutes, baby. Come on, spy keeps selling up, mother. Probably sell not. the fuck off, baby. Probably Let's go, baby. Fuck <gasps> sell off. Hey, I'm gonna see if I have anything green. Let's oh, fucking sell off. Volume spikes on, on Tesla, on, bro. I need to see more blood, blood before I'm worried. MFGP is green. It's been green all day. Micro Buy, sell off, bro. Motherfucking gangster hunts. party. I'd be buying uh, puts at 390, not at 375. That's it's kind of red, a little low. It's starting to pull back. Come on, baby. Make me that money. Yeah. Is that it from the fucking. Oh, that's dump? all of us today. Is Dude, Mark Cuban is uh, letting people use Dogecoin to buy map tickets. Oh, Jesus. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Best PR he could have done. 
Um, did you guys see that they S- had them? SLG uh, might hit nine dollars. Did you guys see that they were like not standing for the net, or they weren't playing the national anthem, and then they made them? It was uh, really the good. eyes of Texas? I thought. No, like the Mavericks were like not playing the anthem all year, and then finally someone noticed. And yeah, nobody noticed until pretty late. Nobody <laughs> cares. I yeah, just, just want to say, like nobody noticed, noticed. That nobody gives a fuck. Real quick, real quick, I just want to say, uh, Money Brain, Money Brain is MVP today with that absolute savage call for 370, uh, 370 on the spy. Look at that beautiful bounce, baby. Is Money Brain yeah. back up? Money Brain's a true fucking artist, dude. Yeah, dude, Money Brain is a legend. <laughs> he Bro, really he got his is, master's dude. from college at 19. Of course, he's a genius. Real quick, should I go all in on the NASDAQ right now? No. You guys realize he got you his master's go at 19? On, okay. on GME and Spy. That's wild. Bro, I, I'm, I'm failing my Bro, final semester. At my college, school held me I'm back 23. purposely. Yeah, From he was 19, getting a fucking master is wild. Yeah, my mom gambled really away tough. my college funds. So I had sure you, that. Freaking, you don't need you don't need high. All, he, was, he was no, he was um, he was uh, homeschooled. That's to show you don't even fucking need high school, man. It's freaking college system. It's so true. Public education. Dude, my kids are straight A's doing this public education system. Yeah. 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 They were literally holding me back. I still graduated high school at 17. It's all about what you take from school. I mean, it's not about the individual. Bro, I was supposed to skip two grades. They refused to. Thirty-three seconds. Back. I was held back in kindergarten because my mom. It's not was even a, a bad school. They went to. He went to George Mason. Didn't want to teach me in her class, so I had to go to the kindergarten yeah. teacher's class. Yeah, George Mason's a good school. Yeah, I, I was, was supposed to go school, from though, third school. to sixth grade. The back guys, when I was in elementary school. Yeah, money. I met him. I've I've met him personally. He's he's very smart. Um, oh hell yeah, dude! Man yeah, started his own business at, at like 20, 20 or twenty one. Sold it to the government. Right, bro. I hate the American education system. Uh, it's so flawed. Yeah, it's so fucked. Ooh, All right, winner. Winner. It's, it's, me- it's it's meant to right, fucking take a shit. Good job, you guys. Hopefully, nobody. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, yeah, the American education system is like how much bullshit you can deal with. Whoa! I just want to say I made bank today. Thank you, guys. Nice. Yep, good 10% job, percent on my account. Well done. It's funny. Yeah, yeah. Only yeah. my meme stocks. Congrats, man. You're the only one. I am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> only my meme stocks. I lost a thousand dollars on my penny hey, Google, stock account. For that's okay. Nine minutes. My real account's two, down two thousand though. I'm down. I'm, down, I'm only down one hundred thirty. I, I only had three grand in the penny stock account, so it kind of hurt a little bit. But how much I think did you I lose? Two grand. One grand. Oh, all right. So, well, like, yeah, 30%. I'm, I'm well, I was down pennies, 50% you know? the other day, though, so, I mean, I guess it could have been worse. That's what you usually expect. You know, you either win or they go completely bust. <sighs> yeah. Well, I started buying back in into some sound things, so hopefully I'll get back up on that account. If there is a market, like, a bear cycle, then that's going to be good for pennies if we, like, right when they exit the bear cycle. Yeah, for sure. Because that's what happened like last August, wasn't it? September was awesome for pennies, and I know December was awesome for pennies. What you gotta do with better DD because the only ones that I've really made money on were like fake Chinese pumps and stuff. <laughs> now, like, the aftermarket. now I find yeah, myself find better double- Chinese pumps. Well, now I find myself doubling down into those and like trying to just ride those waves to make up my other losses. So yeah, I think doing DD on the pennies is a lo- <laughs> is a loss of time, you know. <laughs> True. You're so fucking. And now, now it's everywhere. when everything gets pumped the fuck up after it was yeah. down all day, and a bunch of fucking institutions are gonna try and dump on it first thing in the morning. Well, yes, even sir. With pennies with DD, sometimes it just doesn't help because they're still fucked. You know, right? Like even That's if they have good strategy. news, they'll just go to zero because people just want to pump them. Volume yeah. accumulation. Did anybody I'm see that European map of the most the traded scene. stocks? European. What? Uh, that SVBI, that SVBI from this morning did a really good jo- uh, good job. This is that De Niro just posted. It's in the bro, VC bro. chat. Whoever muted me for saying that the SLGG is going to hit 850, it's like 880, 870 already. Yeah, it hit like uh, $9 for a minute. 
Bro, I don't know who why that guy muted me. <laughs> Good question. Maybe he lost some money on SLGG, so he got pissed. Who muted? How did he lose money? It was like at like six dollars this morning. So I I said SLGG is probably gonna hit eight fifty real soon, and the guy asked me for his, my name, and then he muted me. Uh, I think that what was MLG bro? that did that, bro. No, it wasn't he he napping. Power to mute everybody, in my opinion. No, I I asked for uh, who was saying SLGG because I added you to my favorites list. Oh, yeah, and you kept saying you were muted, but you weren't, dude. We could hear you. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm retarded. My bad. It's a compliment. Yeah, just a little. Well, Don't we all have a little retardation retarded. in here, you know. <laughs> That's why we're all together. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> That's what brings us together. Yeah. Apes together. Apes together strong. R retarded, we are united. It's like cloud computing. You know, one cloud is like one computer sucks, but all of them together are very powerful. Okay. Yeah, we're oh, just yeah. cloud brain computing, you know? It really is like getting a bunch of monkeys together with a typewriter, but it's a Bloomberg terminal instead. Hey, we're going to write a winning is... story eventually. I love the original tagline like 4chan had a Bloomberg terminal. Oh, yeah. What the oh, fuck? My oh my god. god. Yeah, I got in on SLGG at 660 this morning because of you. Nice. Thanks. Because of me? I sold that. Well, because you brought it up and then I looked you. at it. Got a long oh, signal. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I got in at 650. I mean, I'm, I was stupid and I sold uh, like 11 of them at uh, like 8, but you know, still profit. I sold yesterday at six like fifty five because I was afraid it was not going to go higher. But I don't sell really Gigi care. to the moon. Don't spend too this much time gonna, crying this over news spills is milk. going to disappoint you, and then it's going to tank. Yeah, but you got to ride it while it's hot. See, just oh, yeah. move your stop loss yes, in profit. Believe in spy, believe in spy, please. It will do you good. How's Boeing? Uh, Boeing. Down 1.68. You know what was our guiding light in this troubled time, guys? Muckers. Schmuckers. Thank God. I don't know what I would do without Schmuckers. Me uh, does anyone actually know what like did happen to this? I don't, know, I don't know what I would do without AMD and Ford. Oh, those are my those are my two shining lights right now. Fucking Walmart, man. Does anyone know why this fucking uh, FPRX uh, blew up so yeah, big dude. today, though? Nine fifty. Fucking try buy buying a PS. Uh, try uh, try buying a PS. No, no, a, no, a Fox Trot penis account. robot uh, xylophone. Five Prime Therapeutics. Yeah, they went up Learn 16, data. 74. Seriously. Seriously. They're they're shareholder alert. Why small LLP investigates Amber. 5 Prime? They had 35 million volume, so it's not like they even had low volume. It's because, it's because it says they're involved in a lawsuit, in a buyout. Maybe a possible buyout? Bro, that's a lot of money for a buyout. It's Amgem taking them, taking them in. Yeah, that's what it is. Amgen pays one point nine billion. God. Yep. Dang. So the market cap yeah. on that is like one point six right now. Whoever had them before today, woo. I mean, these biotech companies are such a fucking. It's so weird to do DD on them. They're so random. So random. No, I think people are just gonna buy the news. No, buy the rumor, sell the news thing because it has an earnings call in twenty minutes. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to fix what? my average on CTRN. That's ENS. It's a it's two dollars and ninety-eight cents. Are you still in the green? You said S E N S? S E I'll type it. I'll type it. Yeah, it, it was one of the three stocks that I mentioned earlier that's like down fifty percent and it's really like I said, you guys with small portfolios, you might, guys might want to take a look at that. Uh, Nano Dimensions is one of them. Sensionics. Here, I'll type it in. I'll type it in. I'm already following them. I ain't even know it.
Hey, uh, real quick, um, who all uses TD Ameritrade? A team, real quick, and like the most simple, simplest terms. Um, can you help me um, with some of these, some of the terminology on when you click on positions? You you see that you have your positions, right? Um, can you help me uh, understand the actual like functionalities of that that page, like that part of the app? Yeah. So basically. Um... You already know the symbol and the quantity, right? And the price? Uh, yes, yes. All right, and then um, obviously you know the cost is how much you paid. Market value is the current value the stocks are. And it it's a little bit tricky, so it does the value of all the stocks combined. So if you have GameStop for that market value, it's gonna multiply your quantity. Like, if you have a thousand is going to do the market value of a thousand. Do you have any maintenance requirements on any of your stocks? Um, maintenance requirements. I'm not quite sure. What does that mean? All right, you probably didn't buy on margin or anything. Oh no, no. But basically, in the uh, dollar gain as well, it's um. It's a total value. It's not per stock. It's just the total. And game percentage is uh, what percent the total shares went up since you bought it. These are all very basic definitions. Is there any thing else that I missed that's on there? So I'm assuming S the C H percent. What does that mean? Uh, I don't have C H percent. I have change in dollars on mine. Damn. Okay. Um, I have, I have game that percent. Would be thing, would just be percent change on on the day or whatever time frame you're looking at. Okay, that's kind of what I was assuming. Uh, let me let me double check here. One more one more thing. I mean, you can just make your own Excel spreadsheet and put in like uh, the cost you bought it and everything to keep track. I think I bought Sensionix a little too fucking late. I bought it and it went straight to fuck down. Yeah, I had to. A lot of people trying to uh, you get. Try, do you use the link? link? Tra their, their freaking website is trash, man. Within two seconds, it sells out. Have you dude, tried the link that resell, auto added to your dude, cart? They do the same shit with fucking tennis shoes. Yeah, it's all the bots. And vaccines. Yeah, champion, have what you tried the. What the fuck the, does SLGG uh, even do? Have you ever yeah, tried the I affiliate links to games. auto add it to your cart if you just go to the link? Uh, they did, but they freaking forbid it. It's, it's forbidden now. Oh, they banned those? Yeah, so I, but, like, so I actually they clicked one of them. That's worthwhile clicked... for the gaming industry. Yeah, I clicked on one of those affiliate links. I don't really but, uh, see they for... the appeal. It worked, but then they rejected my order. because Oh, like due... they canceled it after? They canceled it. I guess it said oh, due to unusual, un un unusual activity. I don't know. I'm not sure unusual why. Unusual activity detected. Money brain. Yeah, I got a. I managed to get a Xbox and PS5 back in December, but I was lucky. Yeah, dude, this fucking bro. This is bro, one day off. I got both, and I checked got, both out from my Walmart. My sister right? accidentally got two for my fucking nephew. Bro, I got an Xbox and a PS5 the same day from Walmart. I got the Xbox first, right? They canceled my PS5. You could only get one or the other. That's bullshit. So that's they, the dumbest what, fucking thing. Yeah. So what so they do now the dude, is before you add it to the cart you um they make you do this freaking capture so i don't know how the bots are getting past this capture i think it's using the affiliate link maybe uh, yeah they yeah. they've always made you do the capture to log in i had think... really good luck on walmart if you open up multiple tabs and have like a page for each right so you click add to cart then you go to the next page do the same thing and kind of like have a ladder through the process you can get it um also make sure that you ha you're logged in 
like you have an account and all your information is in there. Can you use a bot on Walmart? You can. People do, but you can yeah, also Yeah, people have them. paid bots. So that's how they usually get it. Because I know some sites like counter the bots and stuff. It's just terrible for the game. Honestly, the freaking Sony and Microsoft shouldn't have released this job. That's what I should write as an anti-bot. Mine would be really fucking good. A uh, Best Buy is pretty. Big this, Best Buy is relatively really easy to get them. What yeah, could you you would write a bot? You said no, no an anti bot. What would you do? A number of things. Right, most anti bots. No, there are anti bot. Probably... No, no, there are anti bot stuff. Have you guys seen like PlayStation oh, know, Direct? Yeah, this PlayStation is... Direct puts you in a random queue, and uh, that's how they get around the bots. You know that there's APIs you can connect to, so that you, when your bot hits a captcha, you have somebody on a farm in India can yeah. capture instantly. I do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Best Buy yeah. is pretty this easy is, to get a PS5, is, kinda. This is I mean, terrible for the gaming crazy. industry. The internet is the internet is crazy, bro. It's terrible because you can't get one. No, it's terrible. No, even so. One. So here's the thing. Sony actually found out that um, their sale software sales are down. Why? Because you got a whole bunch of fucking uh, you know resellers holding on. Just fucking stock power. Their software yeah. are sales. Are, what software do they even sell? Yeah, because it, they're just, just they're hoarding yeah, because, them and because, they're not buying yeah, any the, the add-ons. People who want to buy one, the people, the con actual consumers, don't have the PlayStation, so you can't buy them. So the people who are buying them are freaking scalpers, right? So they're hoarding all the inventory. So the and the result is that the freaking um, software sales are down, which is if you know anything about the game industry, that's how they make. That's their how money. they make they all. There's also Wait, no new games coming out like too. What? Right. There's like no next Digital generation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's games. 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 Yeah, the games. The games. Yeah. Well, there's not much games for that new console either way. Yeah, that's my point. But what there's I'm saying is like the, no software, the software the yeah. software does not reflect the amount of PlayStation sold already. Oh, there's right. a new game already. Like, right. people aren't maybe, maybe maybe people are like buying the new edition games. Valheim. They're just using the same ones. They have to be rules around their retailers because of this problem. Like it's ridiculous, bro. Yeah, you you gotta understand though. I would be willing to pay a little more for one or more, but like just buying it from eBay for two thousand dollars and somebody fuck that shit. Yeah, I was considering yeah, scalping well, mine because I got them in December, right? But I'm like, fuck it. No, I'd rather just like keep it. Really me. frustrating. They they I need to fix it. Hawaii? No. There's a tsunami alert. If you want to just pay for it, dude. It's been out for about three or four hours. For they need a, they I'll need be completely a... honest with you guys. The actual the new Xbox is better than the PS5. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, absolutely oh, better. Always than that. Than Xbox. Xbox. It's more powerful. Why as someone that? no no as someone that's had both for like two and a half months, it's just like the Xbox Game Pass is way more worth it. Yeah, and really. Game the only thing that's shit, better, dude. you get. It appears GameStop may be going below the closing price today after, during after hours. This is where that phrase comes in handy. When you're day trading, don't leave your profits on the table. Man, I can't wait to start day trading. Ugh. I left one with a limit order of like 600 just for shits and giggles. Yeah, I thought I was going to get in on a day trade on Cincyonix and fucking right when I bought it, just tanked. I fucking bought like at $3.09 and it went right down. Full fucking FOMO, bro. Yep, that was me. I'm wondering if it'll go back.
Man, if GameStop closes, like, it closes over 130, so tomorrow is going to be a really good day. Uh, yeah, market... I'm just going to see the trade that one. Oh, yeah, for sure. Can you say that again? I couldn't hear you. I was just talking about uh, since GameStop closed over 130, it may be a really good day tomorrow. What you mean as far as it hit? I mean, you mean as far as it hitting like another uh, another floor, like is like maybe ending tomorrow at 140 instead of 130? I feel like the price could easily shoot to 140 tomorrow if somebody is uh, day trading GameStop. Man, Keith Gill must be happy. Like, he got in at $4 price range. He got back in at around $40 to $50 price range. His average price per share is really low compared to most people. But he, he, he did research for, like, days. He was live streaming for, like, eight hours a day. I just Those. be mad that I don't catch these trades like in the baby process or the fetus process. Like this, they said that Roaring Kitty guy or whatever his real name is was uh. They said that uh, he was talking about it since November, the Roaring Kitty guy. So I can just only imagine like people that invested in it, in it back in November and they sitting on it now. Well, those people that bought it in November, they probably sold right when the price shot to like twelve to twenty dollars. <laughs> true, true. I mean, if you do research, there's tons of stocks that go up a lot, twenty five times within a few years. The trick is getting early on instead of chasing with stocks that are already pumped. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I, I be trying to find my mic keep going out. I don't know why, but I be trying to find them. Like when there is something on that 99 cent menu. Hell yeah. <laughs> Still, I'm a penny short. I'm a penny short. Yo, what's penny. up, team? I wish, Chick -fil I, I wish Chick-fil-A had a 99 cent menu. Ah, uh, Chick-fil-A is <laughs> racist. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, they're street, beyond racist. They're beyond racist. They don't. They don't. They're homophobic as well. Oh, hey, man, brother. Hey, their chicken tastes good though. Nah, they're pretty good. Yo, they're pretty good. Though. Chicken is so good that I have gay friends that are like, yeah, fuck them, but I'm gonna still eat their chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm about their message, but I'm about their food. Exactly. Well, yeah. No, it's about Popeyes. You guys see GameStop today? You like it or you don't like it? So what's up? Did anybody here try to short GameStop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, what do you know. think about GameStop, Tame? GameStop, uh, it's good. I think it's it can go up to like forty tomorrow easily. Like one seventy. No, I said it can go up to 140 tomorrow. Like, oh, 140. Closing, oh, closing. I, thought, I thought you meant like 40 <laughs> that was, bucks. That was high hopes. That was projecting. Yeah, holy shit. Uh, on nice. A, I, I don't see it going up 40 bucks on a Friday. Oh, after so many on a Friday. Are after yeah, on so a Friday. many shares are red today. And, and the uh, Dow's down like 11%. Yeah. Damn, you got a gang of people in your fucking uh, channel now, huh? D. Deep. Deep. Careful, careful, that might be the hedge funds, little homies. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it in here, boy. Let's see what.
these cryptos are doing today. What's uh what's new, Tame? What's new? Super League Gaming or what? Super Gaming League? <laughs> Super League. No, su- that's uh, that's already old news, buddy. Oh yeah. It, it went up a dollar ninety four. Went up a dollar ninety four. I can't say that on stream. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. Uh, what's, what, let's see. What did he say? Yo, I want Hedera, man. I need to, yo, what's what's that? Hedera, it's so hard to get my hands on it. It's a crypto. It just came out. Hedera. Hedera. H V A R. A kid, yo, it's like it's been. It was at twenty percent, twenty two percent, twenty nine percent. Oh, is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, and it huh. keeps just going up and going up, and it's at, it's at sixteen cents, and it's like last week it was like at eight cents, and it just keeps going up and up. It's just been trending up the whole last month. What what's what's the background on it? The history on that? Um, it just got uh backing with Google, and actually, hold on, hold on. I was reading the news on it. it was kind of interesting. Um, it's wild. Yeah, some people on the U- okay. YouTube said L- SLGG got them rich. I think it's old now. I don't. I would not want to buy in now. Like earlier was a good time, but right now when it's already almost double. Mm. All right. Well, I need to figure out how to get Discord to stop going through my stream. Um, you just gotta. I've been trying, dude. I've been trying. I can do it, but um, it doesn't. Oh fuck, dude! Come on. Never mind. That's my fault. I'm an idiot. Oh. Hmm. Gonna mute the music. Fuck. All right, there we go. Now I'm safe. Um, I have it to where, fucking. I can I can make it to where Discord only goes through my headphones and not through the stream, but it puts the game audio through my laptop. So. All right, here's what um, I do. I use two different uh, audio. I use a desktop speaker, and I use headset. So I use headset for my stream and desktop for games, so people don't hear it on my stream. Hmm. Use stealth to turn invisible and sneak around your foes. Uh, sometimes when you're playing a video game, you gotta restart the whole game though to change the audio. <laughs> Cheap shot. Imagine if audio cards could mine Bitcoin. That would be crazy. Yeah, that would be fucking. It'd be nice to have another source of people who have access to equipment. How many views you got right now, Tame? Let's see. I don't know, probably a hundred. Jeez, hundred people listening to us. Yep. Yeah. Same to arc. Where you at, boy? How many people you think? If you're holding GameStop on your YouTube, type GameStop. Let's see how many people's holding. Don't type twice. I don't want to count twice. I'm I'm holding. Hey, just know that I I bought in at 360 and I averaged down to 135. I bought more shares at the dip and I'm still holding since a month and a half. Hell yeah, Because I believe. You know the game, boy. Buy it high, sell it low. Yay! Because I believe. <laughs> 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 Hundred and six people watching listening. Everyone below decks now. Everyone go. If you want up on uh so current news on uh, Hedera crypto. Um I'm saying after Hedera hashgraph announced Google would be joining its governing council on Tuesday. The price of the network's native token, HBAR, rose above $0.05 cents for the first time since the network's launch and above $0.02 cents for the first time in a month. As part of the body of investors and advisors who oversee the software changes for the network and ensure the hash graphs decentralization, 
Google Cloud Platform will run a node and make Hashgraph analytics available alongside Google's other public DLT datasets. Google Cloud developer advocate Alan Day wrote in a blog post, it's the 11th member of the council and joins the likes of IBM, Tata Communications, Numora Holdings. To be clear, Google is joining the council, but Google Cloud Pattern is running the node and providing analytics. However, HR holders seem to have been reacting to headlines. The cloud services subsidiary has no plans to further invest in the Hedera network. Google's day told Coindesk via email that it was too early to say what resources the company would provide or what analytics it would make available. On Wednesday, when Day sent the statement to Coindesk, HBAR peaked at nearly seven cents. The token dipped to five cents as of press time. We're not providing material financial support purchasing Hedera coins or providing any other endorsement of Hedera's network or currency, he said. Google also said it has no plans to use Hedera consensus service, which allows members to plug private networks into the public network. The service launched on Hedera's main net this week. Rather, Google joined to Those provide technical to guidance. Private networks into the public network. The service and launched on Hedera's main net this week. <laughs> Amelia. We, are, we are focused on developing solutions that drive real business value across the financial services ecosystem, from capital markets to retail banking and the DLT space. Google's day lauded Hedera speed and inexpensive transactions with finality in a blog post published Tuesday. The hash graph is smaller Damn, than Damn, that's a big-ass wave. Because, because <laughs> it does not store all transaction history, <laughs> though it can be actually stored on a mirror <laughs> network. <laughs> there is public test nets and mirror nodes run on a Google Cloud. Um... So, yeah, that's basically, like, it's a lot more, but I don't want to bore y'all with that. Yeah, it's a Dara. Oh, shit, boring. I just did a front flip. <laughs> and uh, now it's, uh, it's currently at 16 cents. Oh, dude, it's going to climb. Good. Okay, so, Driver. Yep. There's a couple things. You can do, like, you can, there's mods you can add to the game. Um, and they do hella different shit. Like, they help you quest faster. Um, they give you more details on your damage output. There's hella different, like, there's just hella shit you can do to make the game so much easier to play. Because, like, right now, you're probably moving with the number, number or with the arrows, or with your yeah. WASD. You can also move with the fucking, uh, your mouse wheel, if you, like, hold your mouse wheel in. Oh, shit. GME 131. Um... There's just different setting configurations that make oh, your life way easier too. Okay, okay. Yo, I think I got something real quick, though. It's two seconds. Okay. Yeah, loot that corpse, baby. Oh, you can go in your settings and make it auto loot, by the way. That's it. Ooh, I need to buy that. I feel like I probably shouldn't play this game. I'm gonna get addicted. You will. Uh, look yeah, at the, but I look think at the chart. I don't think NDM is coming back tomorrow. Look at I the got chart into that I posted. X1 at two Where's it on? Where's the chart? Recovery days. It's in VC. It's in VC. Uh, yeah, what I've noticed on these market recovery days, uh, the uh, tech stock, like NDM, don't recover. Guys, it, uh. If it's um, like gonna keep going, dude, like it could go all the way to three bucks, dude. Like, yeah, yeah that's where they were. Like, how a year ago. how is a company that has a billion dollars in cash and seventy percent new product adoption gonna be worth a third of their? And I ask like, you, this, actual my cash ears take a little bit right when you said that. I'm gonna say this though: uh, material stonks. Anyone who because deals materials can, is the good don't stuff. The value of this, yeah. Point. Even long, like if it goes into a long term, so be it, because it's. You know, so no, and NDM is not bears. a fucking swing trade. I don't know if that, right. somebody yeah, thinks no, that's, that's a swing a trade. Little, like, bro, if you think like that's a swing trade, you, you, I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> there was a tactical retreat of like trapping the bears for tomorrow. 
Did you guys see the article about Boeing doing autonomous? You're lagging, Hodor. You that? Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll just get on later. Hodor, NSAV is up. Oh, he's gone, probably. I heard somebody leave. I think he crashed or disconnected. <laughs> but uh, I posted the 10 year treasury yields chart, and you'll look on the weekly chart. You're at the highest levels you've been on the RSI. So that means it's been oversold. It's only been oversold this high one, two, three, four times in the last almost 10 years. It's got to be all the new people, man. Got split so out, shaken out of the tree. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, the new uh, people aren't buying and selling the ten year. No, but I'm, what I'm saying is, is if everybody's freaking about the rates going up higher, are the rates more likely to go higher or go lower? I mean, look at the run they've been on. Oh yeah, the yield is going to drop tomorrow, I think. Um, plus, there's news tomorrow that's going to break the yield down a little bit too, because we're going to get an unemployment report, and people are saying it's going to perform below consensus. So. Yeah. We'll so look at uh, tomorrow. So wait, below consensus, the unemployment numbers are lower. It's gonna it's gonna underperform. The is what people are saying about the report because like ADP put out some data yesterday, which kind of casts doubt on the consensus. Yeah, but is professor, I'm joking. By the way, dude. Unemployment underperform is bad. Okay. I mean, unemployment's probably on a decrease now since it's it would probably peaked already. Yeah, but keep in mind, even though underperform is bad for the employment numbers, it's good for us because when the unemployment numbers are, are worse than people expect, that's when the yield on the 10-year falls. So it's good and bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's both. It's, it's Tech value. doesn't give a shit about Yo, unemployment money numbers. Brain, do you still have puts on SPY today or do you exit those positions? Never mind. I'm just on Walmart right now for the dude that was looking for the PS5. It says the digital version is going to be available at 440. Come on on Fridays. No, uh, they came out this morning, I thought. I know Powell was talking about uh, maximum employment. I don't know if that had to do specifically with the unemployment numbers. Let me look real quick. I just can't keep his fucking mouth shut. I don't know. He can't let us go a week without him talking. Well, he likes the spotlight. What a Powell make the money machine go... Burp, burp. I like money. I like the Powell money machine. Like that, It's the only reason the market recovered as fast as it did. was because of Powell and his fucking like, infinite money glitch. Truthfully, I'm going to have a breakdown on the movie Idiocracy, and I'm going to buy like every stock that's kind of booming. Because we're, we're just kind of headed there. Well, so, aluminum has grown quite a lot. It has gone up in 40% 40, 40 in prices since last year. Uh, the sad so thing is, is we're not far off. It'd be like booty uh, schmuckers. Uh, China's <laughs> actually... Beer company. Uh, Biden is probably going to remove the import tax on solar panels from China. Uh, which also means that China will probably move, remove their silicium tax, import tax on products from the U.S. I promise you right now we're not done. Wait, isn't there the, currently uh, a tariff on it? Yeah, you know, it's crazy, dude, man. Ari I feel like Arizona has the best local support than anywhere else around this world, bro. Like us Arizonans, we take care of each other. It's nuts, dude. It's awesome. Because a lot of it... Um, a lot of businesses out here are local businesses. Mom and pop shops and little tiny stores everywhere, bro. And it's like everybody just supports them because they don't, we don't have big shopping centers and shit. Like every, I mean, we do, but there's probably like four, maybe. But everything else is just all family shit if you really look at it. Arizona is awesome. It's one of my favorite places I've ever visited. Yeah, dude, it's it's amazing out here. I love it. The worst place I've ever been to was Nebraska when it was uh, negative 13. That was horrible. Huh. Nebraska is pretty, too. I mean, it's like flat and stuff. But... 
it's really gorgeous because you can see for like ever, but Arizona is the tits. Shit. I think the only thing that would make Arizona better is if uh, California went underwater and uh, Arizona became a coastal state. Ooh, that would be insane, dude. I don't find that happening anytime soon, though. Unfortunately. Anybody plan on flipping Dogecoin tonight? Yeah, I might play around once I figure out where it fucking kind of slows down and it does its thing. You might want to get it before the weekend sometime today. Yeah, I don't know, man. I might just kind of hang on to it. I think the price where it slowed down at where it dipped earlier is like point zero four eight sits, and then it will go up to like point zero four nine nine and then sell. Robot got some doze earlier. I honestly, I don't see it going back down to. Well, I guess it depends. I mean, if you if you hold it up to Bitcoin, it kind of depends on what Bitcoin decides to do. Nope, it's not like Bitcoin though. I mean, if you if you look at the graphs uh, or the charts right next to each other, they they kind of did the same thing. I just still can't believe it went already up to eight cents earlier. I know. I should have got out then. Oh yeah, for sure. I had a, a hundred thousand Doge at fucking eight cents with the average cost of like two cents. Doge is going to be the currency for Elon Musk City in Texas. I don't think so. You can't you can't do that with something that has infinite supply. GameStop's under 130 after hours now. Did y'all see that article I posted about the Dallas Mavericks and Mark Cuban accepting Dogecoin for tickets? Yeah. I kind of, I kind of think that's hilarious, almost. Okay, I saw other places doing that, but they charge a high conversion fee. So Hyundai officially started taking crypto on used car payments. So you don't think t uh, Doge would be a good currency chain? No way! It has infinite. Supply. No, it's five billion in annually, but that's not it. Like, but it, it will like. I don't think it'll increase like bitcoins, but it'll be more stable. Like, it won't have the volatility as much once all the meme shit's over with. You know, it's gonna happen just because everybody says it's the ridiculous outcome. I mean, that's the timeline, Rand. We're in Bizarro World. You've got a good point on that. Yeah, like the fucking circus tent has been pitched. Bizarro. 
I mean, people are paying like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for digital art that you could technically just right click and save to your computer. But because you get to say that you have the official one on a token, I don't know, man. You just got a good point. $80,000 socks. I'm commissioning my wife to do one of those NFTs. I hope y'all make a ton of money, man. If I had that kind of skill to be able to do it, I'd be already all over it. As soon as she gets the first one done, it's coming to you. You're going to be the judge. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the plan for this weekend. I hear you. I mean, dude, they're they're blowing up like uh, the 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 freaking uh, garbage pail kids. So they teamed up with Tops. You know, like Tops baseball card. Well, Tops made more than baseball cards, but like I don't I don't think Fleer is still in the game. I don't think Donruss is still in the game. But apparently, Tops is now. Tops is doing digital NFTs of garbage pail kids. They all sold out. Like all of them, like every single, like they're gone. I was like, man, I bet you those things are gonna be worth money. My buddy's got a shitload of those garbage pail kid cards, like the original cards. He's sitting on a bunch of money right now. Yes, yeah, COVID killed my wife's business because uh, she did all the fairs and art shows and stuff like that, and none of that was going on. Hey guys, I'm new here. Um, <laughs> You're my crazy, volume? Bro. You're good. Thank you. You're welcome. welcome to the party. Welcome, newbie. Now it's time for your initiation. I've been listening for weeks. I just haven't joined the discat, the just the the chat page yet. All right, you ready for your initiation poker? Let's go. All right, so you're gonna have to buy a call option. On the riskiest stock you can find. I have a call option on um, CCL. It's not that risky though. I gotta, I gotta make sure this guy's really been, this guy's really been uh, with us for weeks. Mm, let's wow, see. Make what were we talking make about? Him do, make him do calls for what each one of your kids do to all eleven, eleven calls. <laughs> I did. Um, Tim, I actually added you. Like when AMC and GME first started blowing up before the dip. So I'm actually one of the fucking bag holders from there. So you already bought Damn. high. You already bought high. Did you sell low after you bought high? I bought AMC at $5 originally and then it went to 27 and I diamond handed that bitch and then it went down. So I've been fighting back since then. I bought AMC for like 250 I sold it at 22 and never bought it again. Damn, it went up that much? Jeez, yeah, and yeah, it ain't... yeah, it was crazy. AMC was my very first stock buy. Uh, my friend got me into that Robin Hood shit. I ended up buying like $100 with the AMC, and the next day I looked at it, and it was like $700. So, uh, Dude. Are you still on Robin Hood, or did you switch brokerage? I have Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, and um, Weeble. You're fine. Do yourself a favor, bro. Get Bi get uh, Binance USA. Yeah, I have some. Um, I have Coinbase. My wife, my wife has Binance. I have Coinbase, and then that's what I'm talking about. Bro. I do some that's stuff through Cash App too. That's what you're I'm not. About, you're not man. leaving your coin, bro. Welcome to the team. You're not leaving your coins on Binance, though, right? So I don't really have very much sitting on Binance. My wife has more kind of just chilling on Binance. But for the most part, all my shit's locked down in um, Coinbase. Are you using their vault? No, my shit's just sitting in the market. It's bad news. Be careful about that. Uh, hot, wallet, hot wallets are totally free, man. Exodus is 100% free and supports all the coins you just talked about. Yeah, I want to look into some of those kind of um, off-the-market wallets to store stuff in. 
like uni. I have some uni, and I had some link at a good price, and I sold it, and went boom after I sold. So learning lessons quickly here. Yeah, check out Exodus, man. You can get you can stake uh, certain one. Like I know you can stake Ada, Die, Algorand, Cosmos. Yeah, Coinbase and... lets you stake Algorand. Um... Yeah, but that's still an on an exchange, though. You need to be like exchanges have been hacked in the past. And like, there's no guarantee that, you know, your coins are safe. Like, unless you have the keys to your coins, that's how you know they're safe. I was wondering if Robinhood fucking owns Coinbase. No, heck no. Dude, Coinbase is about to team up with NASDAQ and Symbiot and go API and launch their own token. I got a question. With, with, uh, it's it's off of this, but it's about Robin Hood though. Do y'all think um Robin Hood is gonna pull that shady shit again with this whole GameStop thing and just take the risk of being shut down? So well, here's what GameStop did the other day when GameStop was going back up. They uh had two factor authentication errors happening so people could not log in their accounts after it tests their phone and code to log in. They said it was uh, their upstream provider's fault, but it's a coincidence when GameStop was going back up again. Uh, I personally, I canceled my uh, Robinhood account and I would never recommend them ever. The only reason I'm keeping it is because they let you trade margin at 2.5%. They, that too authentication thing. It's also good for Doge. Yeah, but that's my probably be the only reason why I keep it is because of Doge. But you don't even own your Doge through through Robinhood. You don't own it. No, you can't transfer platforms off of Robinhood for cryptocurrencies at all. But that two, that two authentication thing, it, it didn't happen to me. Like, I logged out. Like I said, I've been listening to y'all for like, three weeks now so i logged out logged back in and it didn't give me no problems so and i was able to you know buy or sell my game stock i still yeah. don't like them though because like i said i had 13.5 a game stop and the last week it went from 13.5 to 11.5 now i got 1.5 of GameStop, so I don't know what the fuck was going on. Like it just sold it. I woke up one morning, my Robinhood had a message like uh, had to shit sell. I can't remember the message, but it says some shit about having to sell it. And I was. Did you buy on margin by accident? That's probably what it was, cause I I changed. I think that's what it was, cause when I heard y'all talking about calls. When I opened Robinhood, you know how I asked you, are you an expert, beginner, or whatever? I went in my settings and I changed it to to where I could see the calls and puts and shit. And I think that's what fucked me up. Cause as the market Yeah, that sounds like what you did, exactly. I did the same thing once and then I turned it off afterwards. But I never got a margin call, but if you didn't have much of a buffer, yeah, I it would it would take you're real choppy someone. man i can't hear you I, I can't hear anything you said you're like real choppy If I'm loud over here, it's because I'm I'm in my truck right now, and I know a lot of people say my truck is kind of loud, so. Oh, okay, okay. Plus, I'm using my, my Beats headphones to talk, 
and I, I don't know if I don't know if I can hold the button on the side to talk or if that'll hang up from y'all or what. So I just use the push to talk. But this little push button been giving me problems too. It's like I'll push it and then it'll let up by itself. Uh, some people also, they don't want to get into crypto because they're afraid of losing their wallets or losing their passphrase for their wallet. It's, it's a little bit scary. Alright, so I will be turning the YouTube off, the stream off, but um, we'll probably talk more in the Discord more off stream related topics but thanks bye for bye watching youtube folks see you later youtube uh subscribe bye bye youtube see you tomorrow Goodbye. youtube all right y'all peace out tubers same bad time same bad channel user has joined your channel come on back <laughs>